Hello, there we go, okay, hello, and welcome to Curse of Strahd on Sunday nights with my excellent cast. I have stuff written down because I can't remember it. Let's see. I'm Sarah, your humble and merciful DM, and um, I would like to thank uh, our sponsors, Streamlabs, OBS Studios, Team MZ, Many Sided Dice for their Lost Artifacts of Grey Gas Compendium, and Dice Bard, if you do exclamation point Dice Bard um, in the chat, you will um, be able to get a code or a link or some. Oh, there is a dice. There's a ghost dog in the house. Okay, um, that's not right. So I'm going to delete that. Oh, I'm realizing that. I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> oh, and if you go Probo, yes, Probo at the checkout for free expedited shipping around the world. So, um, I'm gonna delete this ghost dog from the screen. So, you can't move the token, though? No, um, how would I normally put his token on the map? Just drag it over. Anyway, so we're gonna start with player's introductions. Um, we'll, we'll skip, um, Chris right now, because me and him are fiddling with the dog. Wait, that sounded really bad. We Ooh. are trying to make a dog token Ooh. work on screen. So we're going to jump right into Dave, who wasn't here last week, but who is this week. So Dave, if you could give an introduction to who you are, a little bit about yourself, and um, your character. Just a little blurb about your character, that'd be great. Okay. Uh, hello. My name is Dave. Um... You guys watched Tomb of Annihilation. I was on that a while ago, but now I'm here instead. Um, my guy this time, his name is Stefan. He's uh, just like a human fighter. He's going to be kind of a kind of sad good boy, I guess. We'll see how kind of... I'm, I'm excited to see him kind of act a little bit like an audience surrogate kind of figure. But in any case, I think it'll if be a lot of fun. Lives. If he lives. Honestly, at this point, oh. <laughs> right now he's lost. And maybe they'll find him. Maybe they won't. Maybe I'll see you on the next game. Uh, in any case, uh, 24 art student, basically all you need. Next. So um, that makes brings us over to Kaplan. Hello. Um, I am still playing in Tomb of Annihilation, and um, that's been fun recently. Um, I play in Illyri, who is a high elf wizard um, that is just learned how to be a wizard and is off on her first adventure and very excited um to <laughs> to be doing that um yeah it's about me okay um that brings us over to jim hey y'all how's it going uh my name is jim i am a 29 year old writer specializing in uh fantasy and other kinds of speculative fiction and I am playing uh, Rail Ironfur, who is a monk, uh, a tabaxi monk, who has a very inconsistent Celtic slash Irish accent. Okay. It's pretty, um, good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it is. Um, Para? Oh. Sure. Um, hey, I'm the newbie here. Um, sort of, kind of, I guess. Um, if I sound any different from yesterday, it's because I have my new Yeti mic. Um, Ooh, nice! I know! Uh, I like to draw. I live in Canada. It's, you know, a starving artist life over here. Um, I play Amara. Uh, she's a drow elf. Um, Claire Paladin. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and she's very sassy, so I apologize. Oops, I totally went away from Curse the Strahd screen. I'm so sorry. Okay, um, Varial or Ink. Hi, uh, I'm, I'm Ink. Um, I'm also starving artist. Not Canadian, unfortunately. Um, I also play Opal, the Grave Cleric. 
on Wednesdays on Hell or High Waterdeep with all of my good friends, though we are doing a lot of one-shots. We're doing like three one-shots in a row. We just did our first one last week. We're doing another one this week, so I'm um, going to be a different person a couple times. Um, but here on Curse of Strahd, I play Verion, who is a dwarf, uh, a Chotean dwarf warlock, who periodically gets more Zs in all of his speech as the night goes on. So this is very uh, exciting. Okay. And back to Chris, who plays Golly John. Uh, real quick, which one can you move? Which dog? I actually can't move either of them. Uh, um... Okay. Um, I will look into this further. Um, can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your character? Um, hello, my name is Chris. Um, I'm this, a guy who's playing this game. Um, I've... I used to do some math and theater stuff in the past. I've uh, been in a couple of plays. I worked backstage a couple of times. And for our campaign here, I'm going to be playing a dragonborn sailor bard uh, by the name of Golly John. Or at least that is the name he uses. Ooh. I also have control of Winston, uh, which I think you said was a retriever? Yeah, golden retriever. And he was the captain's dog, so we yeah. saved him. Yes, you. There was a captain. Him. There was a ship crash. Yeah. We got the important party member, the dog. Yeah. So, obviously, the dog always has to follow. So, um, to bring everyone up to speed, we are. You are currently in the attic, most of you. Um, having made your way up into this house after wanting to rescue two children. And, um, basically they told you, help us, help us, our parents are abducted by monsters, blah, 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 and you guys rushed in because you knew that Stefan was in there already, and you went up and might have hit some things on the way up to the attic and, you know, that kind of stuff, and, um, yeah, so what's your party gonna do? Oh boy. And we're in a room full of mannequins which have bloody sheets on them and there's dead bodies underneath, right? No. <laughs> dead, body in a, dead, dead body in like a ch in like a chest. Yes. All the sheets are off and there were mannequins and uh, mirrors. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Hilarious. Some mannequins, some furniture. Some furniture made of mannequins? I am All creepy. Sure. Ooh, that sounds very nice. So, yeah. Um, I am a noob DM and left my book in the other room. Go for it. Just off the, off the top of your head. Just go for it. Okay. What I'm going to do is hide my camera and get you guys to roleplay a little. Okay. <laughs> do that. So uh, nothing can go wrong with that. Have you uh, found anything useful in in there yet? You've spent quite a bit of time, it seems. No keys, just the skeleton that's been stabbed to death, according to Amara. A skeleton that has been stabbed to death. Well, a corpse, and then it uh, progressed into a skeleton, yes. I am so sorry, everyone. I um totally was making notes all this weekend, and I totally left it in the other room. Well, if that does not speak towards my feelings for this entire house, I don't think anything else would. I do not like it here. At all. No, I don't okay. get the feeling that we're exactly welcome. I, uh, I like it here only slightly more than that guy, pointing to the skeleton. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I still think we should get into that other room. It's locked. We need to find Stefan first, no? Then perhaps maybe they can help us get the door open. Or we could leave. Take him and leave. 
I think that would be I, fine. I want to. I want to know what's behind that door. Of course you do. Well, be my guest. It is still locked. I'm not about to kick it down. Thank you. How much noise are you guys comfortable with us making? We've already. made quite a bit already. We yeah, have made a lot of noise. suit of armor downstairs. Oh, uh, yeah, that... All right. If the door is locked, then there is perhaps a key somewhere else in the house. If I had had my tools with me, I would have been able to get that lock open too sweet. But alas, I do not believe I have them. So if you find any good little uh, lock picking sort of tools, you just pass them my way, no? I don't sure. care that sort of thing. I would like to uh, just search this room, though, and look for any place that a key might be stored. Okay. Let's see. Make a um, link. Okay. Yeah, you have the... You do have the woman stamped to death. Wait, this is the 18. Women stamped to death in here, but that's only one woman. Otherwise, it is um, dusty sheets over ma mannequins, mirrors, and coat racks. Nothing too no exciting keys. except for the dead woman. Can I inspect the dead woman more closely? Sure, you can make a medicine check. She looks stabbed. <laughs> I concur. This woman was stabbed. The only other room that we have not looked in is the one with the creepy doll girl. I suppose I could go give it a quick look. Or we could just go back downstairs because honestly, I do not like it up here. And that is being what? Creepy doll room. Ooh. Come. It was this way. I I think I'll come. Oh, I you. thank you. I will make my way back to the creepy doll room. Because I love me some creepy, creepy dolls. I believe it was down here. And I'll go. See. I think it was down there. So much yeah. scarier now that it's actually dark in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Now that well, open the door. Ignoring. Oh, oh, you're all just going to wait, oh, wait for me? Oh, no. Oh, uh, you shouldn't have. It was your idea. You're I, in front of the door. I suppose. It, okay, fine. I will go inside the room. And I will go in here, and I will... Because I know there is a creepy doll. There is a doll. Uh, there is a doll. And uh, right there here a... in the window box. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Give me a sweet, delicious uh, description of what this doll looks like again. A smiling doll in a lacy yellow dress with a painted on smile. Unflinching <sighs> eyes looks at you. I turn her face. Can I turn her face to not look at me? It's creepy. Just like slightly. Not a oh. Okay. And then it falls back to look at you. Uh, uh. Is that normal? No! They do not do that! Uh, I don't wanna, but I'm gonna pick it up. Does it feel like she's hollow? Uh, make an investigation check. Sure thing, DM. I'm not creeped out at all. <laughs> investigation. If you give me a couple of minutes, I might be able to see if this is... Uh, Magical? It's just a doll. It's but does it feel hollow? No. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we didn't hide anything inside creepy doll. If you would like to do that, be my guest. I am not touching it anymore, and I'm going to just toss it over to Kaplan. <laughs> or to Illyri, <laughs> sorry. Illyri's gonna try to uh, catch this. <laughs> okay. Um and uh it. she's gonna just look at it. Do I think it's magical? <clears throat> Make an arcana check. Through my wizard senses. Hmm. 
Nothing feels magical about it. It's just a really creepy doll. I think everyone's making a big fuss about this doll. I'm going to inspect this bed and nightstand over here. I'm going to put the doll back in, in its cobwebs over on the windowsill. <laughs> it looks at you. <laughs> just, are there any drawers in the desk? The desk. Let's see. Nope. Yeah, there's yes. a desk in here. There is a desk in there? Let's see. Yes. It's an old furniture. Coat racks. No, that's the storage room. Spare bedroom. A writing desk with a stool, an empty wardrobe, and a rocking chair. Can I rifle through this? Uh, sure. Here. The um, bedside chamber? Okay. You Is that a, yeah. like a wood stove or something behind yeah, the bed? Yeah, that's a wood burning yeah. stove. Yeah, it looks like they both got stoves. I'm guessing it's like a, a these heat are like where the servants stove. these are like where the servants probably slept. Yeah, up. it's like a heating mechanism for the room. Yeah. So all you find in the drawer is um handkerchiefs. I blow my nose on one. Do you take them with you? Um This time I, I do pocket one, yes. Okay. It's very old, very decrepit. Yes. Okay. I would like to check under the pillow. Oh, okay. There's nothing under the pillow. Are you jumping on the bed? I'm going to do something stupid and take the doll. Okay. Add one creepy porcelain doll to your inventory. Why are Yay. you taking? Why are you taking that with you? I mean, we're not exactly on high standards with those children outside. If they are children, perhaps they're missing one of their dolls. It's glassy style reminds me of you. You go well together. What if they think the doll is the baby? Like, maybe they're just, you know, not all there? Uh, maybe. Is that this truth? Right. They said it was on right. the right. blanket. Yeah, we can wrap the doll in This doesn't look like a boy. <laughs> I almost said it's 2018. <laughs> it's not. It's Whatever not. it is. I don't want to know uh, what year it is. I should probably know. It, it I'm, uh, I'm good, guys. If you guys want to leave this room, I yeah, would. I, I or I without would, the doll. Please, if you if you would be real, so kind of like leaves. just, I, I'm getting out of here. I do not like it up here. I'm oh, Mariel, um, don't cool. forget you have the nat 20 this week. I do have a natural 20 that I am holding in my back pocket. None of you know what that means. but Maybe. You do. <laughs> and everyone else has inspiration. Yeah. Everybody else has yeah. inspiration. All right, so Golly John is going down the stairs. Yeah, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not staying up here. I'm going downstairs. Oh, I forget. I, I forget. Now it's all dark, so I don't know where uh, the the... Yeah. Other floor is. You might have to like right. whisk us there. Hilary is gonna try to set the door on fire. Are you really going? Oh my god. That's where you would be like. Um, she's out going to throw that. a firebolt at the locked door. Okay. There. Make there. a ranged attack. Can you whisk me to the other floor? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Ditto. I'll bring the dog with you. Like, oh, beautiful. I, I'm glad I wasn't there to see you try and do this. Oh. Rail, do you want to be whisked to the second, the third floor? Yeah. However, from <laughs> from the top, the floor above, you do hear this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, there is a fireball. It hits the door, but it is not on fire. <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, the door's not flammable. I thought it was wood, but... It is lacquered in such a way that it is not flammable. World's does... strongest... Oh, world. the fumes! <laughs> oh, the well, fumes. Does, I, does, does Firebolt actually state that it sets things on fire? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just one of those, like, it fizzles. I learned a flammable something. object hit by this spell ignites if it's not being worn or carried. And therefore, the door's not being worn or carried, so Larry was hoping he would set on fire. It's nope. being worn by the house. 
<laughs> just uh <laughs> oh spooky uh, is that too loud um she's going to no try again. It's fine. no I'm we can gone. always come back when we have a, a key maybe or maybe the stefan guy's got some lock picks okay it didn't really look like Did we explore everything on this floor? I believe so. I do not remember there being anything that we... There was the, there was the secret doors that we could not open, though. No? I believe so. But other than that, we were pretty good. Shall we continue, perhaps, to the lower floors and actually maybe grab our companion if he's yeah. still alive? I believe that would be a good idea. He is what we came here for, so if we get him, then we can all leave this horrible place. Because I do not want to be here anymore. Got oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, yeah. O'Leary, back up in the attic, is just... just our second fireball probably had the same effect, just not doing anything. I'm not even gonna roll, it's just... I'm assuming so. I'm sorry I didn't hear all that. Well, she was gonna try firebolting again, but I'm assuming it would have the same effect if it hit. Yeah, it would just fume at you. Alright, so she's just gonna pout and stamp her foot. <laughs> okay! <head> downstairs. <laughs> Noted. Could you port me back there? I can't yes, see Yes, I will, I know. It's sorry, this it's house so, is crazy. It's so horribly dark. There's... So we're on the third floor right now. Right now you are. Alright. I I move to go down to the second floor. Okay. Let me take you down. To I will, as floor. always, wait for most of the people to go, and I'll stay near the back <laughs> with a little way. Does anyone yeah, need help exactly. making it to the second floor? Yes. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. Dolly John, you. you're outside. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you made it out! <laughs> For some reason, roll 20 is being extremely slow. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, it's slow on my end, too. Rail, I'm gonna pop you outside, too, because it won't go down all the way. For some reason. There we go. Oh man, I gotta make this smaller if I'm gonna pop you all down. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh! Too far, too far. Oh, there I am. That's okay. Okay, so... Dog is... Yeah. yeah. Leary's gonna be here. I'm just putting you arbitrarily on the second floor landing, and then you can go where you please. If Roll20 wants me to ever move all of you, which it might not, because it's being Roll20. It's okay. Ah! Oh yes. Yep, I'm right up on that, that suit of armor. Is that a real nah. one? That's okay, I okay. was in the corner. It's okay. All right. That's me in the corner. You hear that a means... muffled... Thunk from somewhere. Light. Is it on the same floor as us? Yes. Did you think? And that's the only reason you hear it. Can I perceive which side of the hall it's coming from? Sure. Make a perception roll. Perception. Oh, nice. nice. It is coming from behind these doors somewhere. The, the, okay. All right, I try to open the doors. I stand back where I am standing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm standing in the right spot, but I would be either on the stairs or right at the bottom of the stairs. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm at the... You're at the top. bottom going up. I think I'm at the top of the stairs going down. Ah, uh, then, I, then I wanted to be at the top of the stairs. So I you guess I would are going to enter you. the library. You open the doors to a library. I lean, I lean back out and go, hey, it's a library. 
Um, red velvet here? drapes cover the window of this room. Windows of this room. An exquisite mahogany desk and a matching high back chair face the entrance in the fireplace, above which hangs a framed picture of a windmill perched atop a rocky crag. Situated in corners of the room are two overstuffed chairs. Floor to ceiling bookshelves line the south wall. And by south, they mean this way. Because um, yeah. it's backwards. Um, a rolling wooden ladder allows one to move more easily to reach the high shelves. What is the subject matter of most of the books? Warfare, history, alchemy. Oh. There's also some poetry and fiction. Golly, John, make a perception check. Golly, John, you notice a thump, even though you don't know where it came from. You did say a thump, right? A thump. Did you guys hear that? I believe it was a thump. Yeah, that, that thumps in the floor. No, let me come over see and see if I can, it comes if I can take a look. Can I investigate the books to see if there is any secret levels? Can I assist with that? Sure. Wait, what are you perceiving? Looking to see if there's any... You want to investigate bookshelves for hidden levers. Yes, well. yes. Give me a... a... Give me a perception check, yeah. And I'm assisting. Okay. Ooh, nice. You notice a lever right in front of rail. About right there. Ooh. Rail starts pulling books off the shelves. <laughs> okay. Rail, there's Rail, please. What? Um what? I'm gonna point it out. <laughs> okay. All of a sudden someone falls through a secret room. Oof. And thugs uh, on the floor in front of you. What's going on over there? What if it wasn't you though? <laughs> <laughs> and it is if, a, computer. if a ghost like fell in front of us and made a solid thunk sound, I'd be very surprised. <laughs> True. Rail, Rail helps uh, Stefan up to his feet and gives him a big hug. Ow! 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 You all right? No! 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 Um. Okay. Um. The, the, the kids, are the kids good? Are the kids all right? They're fine. They're okay. They told Great us to go inside fine. and they saw you and then we can't get out of the house now. We are locked in. But as far as I oh. know, we are, they're fine outside the house. Okay, then that's that's fine. Um, yeah, no, I'm not good. Um, one of the armor, the ar I, hmm, I found this other room outside and then one of those things we fought ish uh and then i hid in here it hurts everything we met we did meet a piece of armor we if you describe met as beating it up then yes we met a suit of armor and okay but you beat it down the stairs yeah. Of course. Right. And then, then rail, rail strikes a pose. Of course we did. <laughs> Either You're no, right. Why did I even <laughs> think anything else? Um, yeah, okay, so then the next topic. Um, can someone fix me? I hurt a lot. Look on the bright side, Stefan. You're still alive. That's Would you true. like some very old cheese? I took it from Dante. Can I, uh, can I make a medicine check to see if I can patch him up? Sure. I guess. What does medicine do? Like, isn't that to stabilize? Oh. It's Is he Never stable? Mind. I... I don't Sorry, think he's stable. I cannot heal. I like to think I'm stable, but one of my knees is backwards. Yeah, pretty much. I think that is a good look on you. <laughs> really, do you? Maybe I'll keep it. 
Does it always hurt though? Cause woof. Uh, um, Stefan fell from a room that is dark inside. Let me see. And he hid in there with a skeleton in leather armor and a chest. Can I see into the room and possibly go in? Sure. Why don't we put him in, uh, sit him down on one of the chairs at least, so that he can rest that, uh, yeah. backwards knee. That'd be great! Thank you! Amara, can you do anything to help? I suppose. Um. <sighs> Fine. Um, I'll use lay on hands. I'll get out of the way. Thank you. Um, lay those hands. Lay those hands. How do I use it, though? You just have a, a pool. It's not really a spell. Right? It's just an ability. You that is true, of, yes. I think you have five hit points, and you can choose just how much to heal. Oh, I, I just choose? Oh, okay. Yeah, because you don't roll for it. Lay on hands is just... Alright. You do it. Um, before that, can I do a medicine check to see, like, how... Oh, in a bad way he yeah, is? Go for it. Yeah. He's pretty roughed up. <sighs> it is a 180 degree knee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he real bad. That uh, looks a bit like a uh, rotisserie. Um, she's gonna put her. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay, that was gross. That's not that good. was really gross. <laughs> 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 She'll put her hands like on the leg and kind of gently. With a little kind of a smooth <laughs> movement, while using the spell, obviously, I'll I'll heal you the five points. Okay, that's that's all I have. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. That uh, uh, you know what? Thank you. Thank ooh, thank you. Oh oh okay. Now now that I okay, um, I'm I'll gonna stay sitting. For Still kind of hurts. Someone gave us bits for your rotisserie reference, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I just wanted to say, I did find something while I was lying down in the room. Because um, I was in there for a while and there wasn't much else to do except kind of crawl. Anyways, <laughs> um, I found this letter. A yes. Yeah. Um... Okay, okay, and he like kind of like rifles around and like pulls off. out like a wadded up piece of paper I'll show out of the everyone, inside of his little belt. If you want to read belt. it out loud, go to it. Go for it. Okay, okay. So here's what it says: <laughs> My most pathetic servant, I am not a messiah sent to you by the dark powers of this land. I have not come to lead you on a path to immortality. However, many souls you have bled on your hidden altar. However many visitors you have tortured in your dungeon, know that you... Gosh, this sentence is long. Know that you are not the ones who brought me to this beautiful land. You are but worms writhing in my earth. You say that you are cursed, your fortune spent, your abandoned love for madness took solace in the bosom of another woman and sired a stillborn son. Cursed by darkness, of that I have no doubt save you from your wretchedness i think not i much prefer you as you are your dread lord and master strahd von zarovich can you see it by the kind of wacky can anyone see the letter <laughs> i've been pressing show to players and it hasn't been no working. can't see it i like the kind of wacky okay yes. uh, added to the to the and uh, can you just add it to our journals? Uh, One sort of sentiment, I suppose. Um, is it kind of wacky like a PS, or is that your take on it? Oh, you're right. Sorry. Uh, unquote, kind of wacky. Oh, right. Should have said 
I wait, mean... Wait a second. Does this mean that the, the baby isn't actually, you know, alive? Okay, now everyone should have... I, I have still think the doll's the baby. In their journals? To... Um, yep, yeah, I can I, see it now. Okay, good. Because I tried to show the player, but it wouldn't work. To, to be fair, I'm just going to throw this out there. I do not think that there is a baby to save. I think that we should leave. There's a baby? My opinion. No. The baby with the power? No. <laughs> well, there was a baby, but it's not alive. There what? was a crib. Y'all let no a baby, baby die? No. Do you I mean, not just hear letter. what Stefan read? I heard Stefan, Stefan also, baby. you are kind of like dazzled because, uh, Illyri has some light on a end of a stick, and you don't have dark vision. You've been stumbling through this house. Unless you That's have a fair. torch. And, you have a uh, torch? Uh, There's a the dead baby! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. You yeah. haven't found a dead baby. You found a dead woman. We just haven't found a I believe the all. baby's long since been dead and <laughs> gone. Good children. I'm not entirely here. Didn't good children ask you to find their dead little or their little brother? <laughs> their dead little brother? <laughs> they you can know... say dead at the time. <laughs> <clears throat> well, didn't this letter say something about a stillborn? Exactly. Right, that's what I mean. It's not an alive baby. Maybe they're in denial. Yeah, maybe. Maybe this whole thing is just a farce. So that is what I have been saying in my experience. It looks like no one has lived here for Decades. Everything is covered in dust. Why would anyone live like this? Yet you chose to uh, grab that cheese. I, what can I say? <laughs> Age makes cheese taste better. Oh, okay. Man, they're always hungry. All right. So, um, Ra so. Rail can't stand it anymore. Rail wants to see inside this secret room. Where is it at? That Goodbye, way. Stefan. Hey there. Okay, Rail's gonna go and check out the secret room. Okay. Nope, I fall. I fall outside. You fall outside the window. Okay. Now I'm in. The, I'm in the room. Now you're making boxes. Someone's making boxes. That's me. It's the sudden light. I'm so confused. Okay. You deleted yourself from the entire game. Okay. And Rail. Stefan is gone. We found him. Oh, never mind. Stefan was the ghost the whole time. <laughs> All right. What's in there? Hold on, I'm repopulating Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stefan, you already did that. Okay. Never mind. Conjure. There was. There you, you said oh. there was a skeleton with leather armor and a chest in there. Yes. All right. I I kind of gingerly move the skeleton to one side and bow my head in respect. And then I want to take a look inside the chest. Okay. Uh, there were three darts stuck in the dead skeleton's armor um, from the dart firing mechanism inside the chest which is no longer functional. <laughs> the, chest, <laughs> the chest contains if anyone wants to write this down three blank books with black leather covers which worth 25 gold each three spell scrolls which you will have to identify the deed to the house the deed to a windmill and a signed will the will is signed by Gustav and Elizabeth Durst and bequeaths the house the windmill and all of their family property to Rosa Valda and Thornbolt um and, oh, and you see a set of thieves' tools. I, uh, <laughs> I kind of collect everything and bring it out uh, to, to everyone else and put it out here on the desk. Here's what was in the chest there. Can I take a look at the spell scrolls? Yes. I would like to lean over his shoulder. Um, yeah. I would yeah, like to take the thieves' tools. Would you look? Can you identify the objects without identify, or do, by the um, time you have uh, to spend an hour or use identify? Okay. 
They're mm-hmm. magical spell scrolls. Or you could, you could maybe, I don't know how you want to do it, but you could probably read them and see that they are, in fact, spells and know which spell they are. But to copy them down to use them would have to take time. I don't know how you want to do it. I'm going to say that you're going to have to identify them, just to be consistent. I mean, we could, uh, uh, w- would you allow us if, like, we took a short rest and someone spent that short rest yeah. investigating? Yeah. And so, you I mean, we could do dice that. Or something like that, you know, whatever you want. We could do that, or we could check them out at a later time. I would like to take the thieves' tools if no one's really grabbing for those. Um, so, we do know that they are, in fact, spell scrolls. Just by Three looking at Three spell scrolls. Just don't know what the spells are. Right. Okay. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Yeah. It's probably written in weird arcane mumbo jumbo. Possibly. We can identify those when we uh, have a moment to rest and think outside of this lovely place. Yes. Uh, this is kind of up to the end, I guess, but I think spell scrolls are usually written in Draconic. I'm not sure about that, though. Okay, let me look that up real Dude, does anyone well, know? Good thing I can't oh, uh, cause it's like, cause it's like speak Draconic. Draconic, Draconic was like, Draconic magic so was like the earliest magic. Yeah, it's considered the language of magic in a lot of the settings, but I'm not sure if that's true for all of them. It says written in a mystical cipher. Oh, ah. that's Mark setting. Oh, if you're if the spell is on your class of spell list, you can read it without providing any material components. Otherwise, the spell is the scroll is unintelligible. Okay. Okay. So does that make sense? So yeah, I'll tell yeah. you the spells because I think that you two well, of you have two of these. spells. I would be able to read them. And I don't think either of you have. I don't think anyone has this other one. I don't know. I mean, you can just wait for us to identify it because it sounds like that, yeah. that would be an easier way to, then you can just yeah. toss them all. And I wouldn't okay. want to read them off the scroll anyway. I would want to write them down. So. Sure. Okay. Uh, you want to do that wizard stuff. Okay. Nice What's with these books? These, these three black books. They're just empty black books with black, black leather covers. If anyone has a novel that they have been wanting to start. Yeah, can I have those? Sure. Awesome. It's the least we can do since we left you in a dark hall. Could you bring them to me? I still don't want to get up. Kind of still twinges. Well, Thanks. we would have probably moved you to the chair, one of the chairs by the desks so that you could see oh, everything. Yeah. So Sorry, right. I'm still. <laughs> okay, death perception. Got it. It is your horrible human eyes. <sighs> So, so, it seems here desk? that, uh, I figured, yeah, the, yeah, he said that he emptied all the items out on the desk. We okay, were kind of um, gathered around it. There's stuff on the desk, so I'm just gonna read you that. An oil oh, lamp, sure. a jar of ink, a quill pen, a tinder box, a leather kit containing a wa- red wax candle, four blank sheets of parchment, and a wooden seal bearing the Durst family insignia, which is a windmill. Do you guys think we should bring this stuff out to those kids? Yeah, if they're kids. with uh, the deeds and the will. I, That's what I was it, thinking. It is, it is still their home, no? So why do we need to slowly empty their house and bring it out to them in the yard? They could just come in and have it, no? Uh, well, they said that there was a monster in the house, so I don't think they want to come in. Right, so if they're not we... like undead children, they're going to need these deeds to prove that they still own the place when they come back with more help. No, it's just get rid of the monsters, go outside, tell them that the monster's gone, look coming so. They did ask us- Wait, 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 who's getting rid of the monster? Well, that's one of the things they asked us to do. Well, they told us to at least find their parents, who are the actual owners, so we need to find out if they are still alive. Right. So are we still doing that, or are we just leaving? I thought we were- We should still do that. Yeah, we said we would. I personally, I think that we should just leave. I do not like it here. I do not wish to die in a old dusty home. It is not on my schedule. I still think we should go and open that locked door upstairs, though. 
I agree. Is, now that you uh, have those uh, tactics. I yeah. could do that. That is true. Can we do both? Would that make everyone happy? Why don't we finish looking around here first? I think that is a good idea. We can take the deeds, hold on to them, give them to whoever we find, and if we do not find them, well, we have a new, very, very dusty home. Alright, so Ray. Taking the deeds up. doesn't necessarily actually make the home ours. That's not how deeds work. Is Semantics. It? I don't actually know. <laughs> I've never owned a house. I, I believe that owning the deed actually does just mean that you own the home. Really? Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. The attic. It's easy to get a house then. Alright, so see what's Ray, behind the we, door. Ray picks up that kind of like little uh, packet with uh, the, the, the seal and uh, he puts the deeds and the will inside that and then puts it in his bag. Okay. Just uh, make a note of that. Okay. I would like to start heading back up into the attic because... I can, um... Mm, I think I can copy all of you. Or I can move you all up to the attic at once. I think like you should be able to stop this room on the other side of the hallway before we go up the attic. Yeah. Oops! Oh. Sorry! <laughs> Sorry, everyone! Premature <laughs> movement. <laughs> we... we. I am so sorry. Why are you just saying yes? I was just trying to help. Okay. So there's I also store open? check out this other room. Yes, it does. Oh, it's open. Okay. That is the conservatory. The window, gossamer drapes over the windows of this elegantly appointed hall with brass plated chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Upholstered chairs line the walls and stained glass windows depict beautiful men, women, and children singing and playing instruments. A harpsichord with a bench rests in the northwest corner near the fireplace with a large standing harp. In the meta, I was so close to picking harpsichord as one of my instruments, <laughs> and I didn't. So close. That would've been cool. Except, this is the harpsichord, so I don't know how you would drag it along with you places. But well, that's why I didn't. Like, I'm like, it didn't make sense for him totally. to... You put it on wheels, you just ride it <laughs> everywhere. Hold on, everybody! Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> like the making my way downtown music video, just... Yeah. Uh, Kajir is, however, going to start messing with the harpsichord. <laughs> St Stefan can, can't see anything. Um, I'm or gonna Dolly John, sorry. Stefan, because I'm going to say that you lit a torch with the tinderbox, okay? Oh, okay, got it. Because I think that'll be nice if you could see. We um, keep on forgetting that Stefan like cannot see anything. An object with a light spell on it. How's that, Stefan? If you asked. Better? That makes more sense. <laughs> Creates less smoke. You could have taken the oil lamp. <laughs> that too. <laughs> that is true. You are a smart one, Emera. Mm. Thank you. Someone notices. Anyways. <laughs> you are also very Ray funny. Rail wants to check out this harp over here. Okay, um, make a perception check. Okay. The harp has figurines of well-dressed da dancers adorn the, the mantelpiece, as well as several carvings of well-dressed skeletons. Mm. I hate everything here. <laughs> I, say, I say, golly, can you play harp? Let me check. You can certainly try. I can certainly try. <laughs> I would not call myself proficient in the harp. Okay, give us a performance check. 
I'm going to sit in a chair and just see how this goes. Okay. <laughs> you are dazzled by Golly John's performance at the harp. He strums, he plays his heart like a, he touches a woman. This body. Anyway. <laughs> you pluck the strings. <laughs> so I don't... Not bad. I don't think technically I'm supposed to use my performance skill um, for instruments that I'm not proficient in. Um, but... There's actually a... Okay, so that'd be minus three if you're not proficient in it. So. Still yeah, pretty good. Minus, minus two. Bonus to it. It's okay. But it would still be enjoy, pretty high. You all enjoy it very much. It's beautiful. Winston howls along. He loves it. Mm, beautiful. I pet Winston and leave. Okay. <laughs> I wish you could control Winston. You really have to um, figure this out. Um. I mean, if I you have... don't want to just keep moving him, you can just say that he's on Golly John's space again okay. since we can't get it to work so that you don't have to deal with it. I've got a sheet. I'll remember this time. Up to the attic? Can I, let me try it this way. I, I want to see if I anyone can um, edit Winston. Like, not. Uh, like, I'm going to give Dave control. Dave, can you control uh, Winston now? Yes. You can. Sorry, Chris. I thought you were asking if I was allowed, if I would allow it. Um, oh. <laughs> I can't touch him. You can't you can't control him either? I have a nope. sheep, but I can't move him. Ha. Huh. That's so weird. Does anyone yeah, you can I don't know how that works? Okay. You can only move him if you're proficient with animal handling. I guess so. <laughs> Matthew, why can't I move why can't they move Winston? Matthew. Anyway, okay. Um you go upstairs? I need to edit the token. Okay. Well, that's where Leary wants to get. <laughs> could you ex to too. Could you explain to me, Leary, why you are so enamored with a locked door? Normally, people lock things for a reason, so that you do not go inside. Oh. Right. Usually, sure. it's exciting what's behind there. It could be valuable. It could be somebody's secret. They could tell us more about this house. And the kid's parents. Right? Right, and with that mysterious note, and the lady in the chest, and, you know... It is, so all, it is all well and good, you just need to pay minds that you do not, uh... Go into too many locked things that you end up upsetting someone. Or He's some very curious. Do you want me to pop you all up back to the attic? Yes. So that is that is fine. I would be having this conversation while I am going up to the yeah. attic. Because you need me to open the door. Perhaps exactly. I, uh, I have never done a thieves tools check on uh, this. So we're gonna let's see. So it's a dexterity. And it's proficient. Okay. Oh, I oops. think I'm ready. You're I think outside. I'm ready to ping it. That is okay. Oops, is some of you are outside. Thing. I just... Ah. I'm so sorry. Roll 20 is so slow tonight. There you go. So... Everyone wants me to open the creepy oh, locked door in the attic of the where's, dusty ghost house. Where's real? Is, is... Yay! Yes, please. Where's real? Only if you want to, buddy. Just open the door. Let yeah, it so be known. Let it be known to do that, these things. Let it be known that I uh, I am with Stefan on this and I do not want to, but I will do it for group consensus and just so I know that I get it open, I'll use the free Nat 20. Because okay. I don't even want to have everyone get upset at me that I, oh no, I can't open it, it's too hard. So I'm just going to do really I cool. dropped it through the crack. <laughs> oh no, I broke the thieves tools. Damn. Okay, the door swings open. For you. I'm going to uh, make a Leary go in first. 
earlier, you will uh, <laughs> peek your head in, and in this case, me <laughs> going all the way in so I can actually see what's inside. Okay. And the you room hear one. Uh, oh my. <laughs> Rail dive rolls into, into the room. Really? Yeah, I'm just going to. I open the door and I'm just going to. There you go. I did it for you. Stefan, you're in the wrong room. There you go. <laughs> Close enough. Okay, so. Uh, the room contains a bricked up window flanked by two dusty wood bed frames sized for children. Closer to the door is a toy chest with moon mails painted on its sides and a dollhouse. It's a perfect replica of the dreary edifice in which you stand. These furnishings are draped in cobwebs. Lying in the middle of the floor are two small skeletons wearing tattered but familiar clothing. The smaller of the two cradles a stuffed doll that you also recognize. Dollhouse that looks exactly like the house we're in! Do you familiar want to skeletons! I hate it here. Well, I guess those children outside weren't, uh, weren't really alive. No! No. Are you sure? They will not! Just as I suspected they were. Can I do a medicine check to see, like, if I can find out how they died? Sure. Brutally, you do not <laughs> calmly kill a child. Do you know anything Stephon about wants that? to, like... No. <laughs> <You're just children. laughs> I don't oh. think so. I don't think I've killed any children. <laughs> That's I got a seventeen. Okay, the Durst children, Rose and Thorn, were neglected by their parents and locked into this room until they starved to death. <gasps> so you aren't going to like this, but I don't think they died um, in a good way. Um, they starved. It seems. Um, that would explain why the door was locked. And look at the window. It's all bricked up. Why do you think the parents locked him in here? Um, Stefan wants to do like an investigation check, maybe under the beds or just kind of like around to see if there is anything like written or like a diary or anything like that. Can you can you tell me where you're gonna be looking again? Under the beds. Give me a perception check. Investigation. Can I, can I do investigation? Instead? Yeah, you can do investigation. <laughs> you're right. It's sick. <laughs> I don't know why this is. Yeah, um, there's nothing. There's cobwebs. Well, what about that letter we found? Who was it written to? Maybe their parents, and their uh, parents didn't want to have to deal with their children. I believe it was written to someone that the letter writer did not like. It did not speak very fondly of them. Right. So it remains to be seen. Where are the parents? And why were, if the letter was about the parents, why were they sacrificing people, was it? It, uh, Stefan, do you still have that note? Yeah, he's, he's looking over it, it. Well, yeah, just pathetic servant, so maybe one person. Um, soul's blood on altar, he didn't, death sacrifices for sure. He didn't altar. Uh, you said, so this, so this dollhouse looks like the house we're in. Is that what it said? Yes. Okay. So, if there, if there was a hidden altar... Where would I be? Mm. I want to open the dollhouse and see if I can find. Give me a, a perception check. It's always in the basement, isn't it? Can I do investigation? No, got to do perception. Perception. Okay. It says so in the book. Sorry. Okay, that's no, that's, no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> this is this one. You see all the house's secret stairs and doors, including one that leads from the attic to a spiral st staircase. Let me see. If this is supposed to, to be accurate them. to where we are, yeah, that's then it where looks... the um, secret staircase is that you don't know where. 
from the outer it, to down. It it looks like there should be a secret staircase just outside this room. And it then goes let's go. down. Also, where does it go? Also, the ghosts of Rose and Thorn appear in the middle of the room. That's that that happened. <laughs> Whoa! Sorry, this what? is so slow. Oh, okay, it's on my <laughs> spot. <laughs> the ghost appears in you. No, it does not. I am just shot. Is oh, a cold. weird clipping error. A <laughs> <laughs> <I, I> deepers <laughs> and back up. <laughs> Damn you, Bethany is <laughs> Todd! 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 Anyways. <clears throat> are they um, looking like uh, like the previous ghost? Are they angry at us? Or what's going no, on? They are... They are... Children. They are looking at you and... Just quietly looking at you. Wondering why you're there, probably. Uh, do they look like the kids we saw outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, exactly. this is it. Uh... Just making sure. Are, are you guys the real ghosts this time? What do you mean? Well, you're inside now. Yeah. And you weren't on, inside earlier. Well, I don't know how you saw us before, but me and Thorn have been in here forever. When you've opened the door now, you can get out. Yeah. We can't get out. Sure you can. We can't I don't believe here. it's that simple. We're scared. And surprise, the whole house belongs to you. <sighs> there's there's a monster in the basement. Do you see the basement? And she points over to the dollhouse. Let's that's look at the... That's why your parents the... locked us in here, so we'd be protected from the monster. Hmm. I have a okay, funny you... feeling about what that monster is going to be. I think that's where we're going next. Is... And it's the same space towards the secret staircase, right? Yeah, there's a secret door in the attic. Okay. Yeah, you guys stay here and we're gonna we're gonna go do that. Let's go. Yeah, we'll take care can, of the monster. Can I see if Stefan's telling the truth? Because I don't want to do that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> are you... Are you uh, am I being I just... legit in how excited I am to go beat up this monster? Yeah. Yeah! No. Humans. Um, <sighs> spry. Come it's on! Like... From we are, uh, we are going to go deal with the monster. Apparently, you stay here. I just shimmy along like the outside edge of the room until I get to the door, and I'm going to leave. When you Don't run, everyone. Wall, we're good. Full coverage, rubbing the wall, trying to find the lever. Reveal I'm staircase. Going to, I'm okay. going to close the door again. And relock it. <laughs> <laughs> it is just a padlock, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Hey, you know the the kids were. They were killed that way. Why well, don't you leave it unlocked? No. Yeah. I already locked. Yeah. It. How about yes? That's a little messed up. No, I already locked it. Look, I do not want to be here anymore. There's clearly. Listen, give me that. The... I I want to grab his tools and try and unlock the door again. No. Nah! No! This is mine! You cannot have them. Make a contested strength check. Storm. Okay. Uh. Oh, sorry, that was a save. Straight okay. strength or. Uh... Straight strength. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, you are very strong, so fine. <laughs> okay, you just take some. Uh, now I'm, gonna, I'm furiously trying to unlock the door again. Okay. Um, give me a uh, dexterity check. 
Collisions, they are not real children anymore. They are just spirits and we do not have to do this. You can't unlock it. We've figured it out. You can't I'm... even unlock it again. I throw the uh, few souls down on the floor and I, I pull out my boarding axe and I start. No, 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 no. Okay, well, I'm going to take those thief tools back because I need to. Rail, Rail tries to grab them first. Oh, come on! Okay, we got contested <laughs> dexterity strength. Dexterity check to see who gets them first. So, welcome Your back to the party, them. Stefan. Um... Oh, Rail gets the... them, sorry. I hit He oh, grabs them with his, with his foot claw and then flicks them up to his hands. Okay, Rail now has the thieves tool. So he 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 kind of tries to to move Golly out of the way. As Golly, let me give it a try. Okay, make a dexterity <sighs> check. Well, the thieves tools check. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna say oh. dexterity because they don't have thieves tools in their inventory, probably like you do. Uh, that is so. No, I. I don't. <laughs> no. It would lot. seem that I am the only one that is actually able to use them. I will <laughs> unlock it again, but I think that we should just leave. This is not our problem. We got Stefan. Look at him. He looks so good. Now we can leave. Stefan, any luck a... with finding the lever? I don't know. Ma um, make an investigation Maybe. check. <laughs> I will assist. Okay. Please. Rael, may I please have the tools back? Rael kind of looks. Rael kind of looks at the at the tools and says, "I think we have a chance of freeing these little ghost children." For what? May For common decency. So far, the house has tried to kill us. But they haven't. They're just kids, man. Do you know of? I do not see any real point. So, uh, someone make an arcana check. I will. I am more for risking my skin for those that are still breathing instead of ones that are not, for whoever knows how long. Yeah, hold on, it's been slow. What about us? We're still breathing, and we're going to try to help these kids. Don't you want to help us? The most helpful thing for you to stay alive would be to leave this place immediately. Is no one on my side about this? I have no objection to leaving as long as we all do it together. We leave this door unlocked. I'm fine with, I'm fine with leaving as long as we leave this door. Right. Then give me the tools and I will unlock it again. Or try we to. need to. We need to all be agreeing. I'm not going to leave on my own. I would die. So fine. I will unlock it again. Okay. Make a um, thieves tools check. <laughs> this is where I can't do it. Nope. No. Nope. That's a nuts. That's a one. <laughs> one of you has. With all of your people trying to unlock these doors, you have already started to put jinx in the tools. It makes them very hey. hard. You are going to break them at this point. Can I no try? Sure. Well, just going. Well, just going to pass them around. Take them. Fine. Sure. <laughs> By the way, did um, that nineteen investigation get me into the staircase or not? Yeah. Because at this point, <laughs> I'm downstairs. Yes, but um, Larry was going to make a arcana check for me. I was, but roll twenty just stopped working for me, so I'm going to... Okay, um... Varial, can you make an investigation check for me? Investigation? Uh, Arcana, sorry. I can do an Arcana. Are you proficient in Arcana? I am. Okay. That's, That's enough. 14. Um, seeing the children um, skeletons, you know that they will only be at rest if they put in their tombs. Yeah, that's just some things that I would know if I uh, had oh, yeah. to do and this Alaria for a job. Oh yeah, and would know that as well. Um, that is my dexterity check. Oh, okay, Alaria. <laughs> to open the door with okay. the lock. This is kind of backwards, but Larry opens the door, and Varian knows how to set the children to rest and have their spirits be uh, settled. Alaria will hand back the the 
uh, lock picking tools to vary and um, if you really next time you just need to try hard I'm sure that you have used some kind of magical trickery anyway if you all really want to help these children the bones need to be put in their proper tomb that is normally how these things resolve themselves there's so many these well, from the doorway of the staircase, Stefan will, I guess, yell, Well, should we do monster first or the tomb first? What do y'all think? Take, well, the Take the bones now. Take then... the bones with us, yes. But what if they get destroyed by the monster? Then we will bury the ashes. Well, we haven't found the graves so far, so they might be where the monster is. What are we going to use to move the bones? Does anybody have a bag? Um, There's Rail. sheets on oh, the bag. Oh, we could probably use that. Rail oh, that's right. back inside and grab yeah. some of the Omar sheets. Smart. And, make, and make kind of a satchel for the bag. <laughs> we just have children's bodies in a bed sheet satchel. Yeah. That's so it's horrible. Enough to <laughs> scoop them up and they're, um, they're Children are figures. lightweight. They're ghostly figures, um... Oh, they're still in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. They're trying they just to appear. help. As you okay. move their bodies. Ugh. So, Stefan. Ink, uh -huh. did you get my message? Huh? huh? Ink, did you get my message? Oh, I am I did. Didn't read it. You should probably do that when the DM PMs. I, well, I only just now saw. From earlier. Scroll me? Up. Yeah, scroll up. Yeah, no, I see it. Yeah, me? Okay. Yes. Yeah, Go away. Okay. Stefan, you see a staircase leading downwards. Is everyone following Stefan? Yes. This is the secret passageway? Yes. 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 Then I'm going to move all I, I thought, thought we were going. I'm sorry? Well, Stefan, Stefan's going. Stefan, what? You gotta get BD, where are you going? Monster! He's Monster. already got. He's going to die if he goes down there. It is so dark. Come on! You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to go near a monster. You I gotta beat the monster so, for the kids. I think we should just leave immediately. Don't you see that this place is completely horrible? It I could be better sure with I'm our help. A bit. You know, it's kind of growing on me. I'm not leaving. Why don't we run down, grab Stefan, and drag him back up here? If you run down these stairs, you're going to fall and you're going to crack your head open and die. We're all going to die. I've still got one good knee left. I'm pretty much down the stairs. Come oh. on, hurry up. All right. Let's go get the monster. Rail, Rail goes after Stefan. Okay. They're all going to die. I'm going after Rail. Okay. As this is ridiculous. Amara, Amara, wait, wait. Listen to me, okay? They are all going to die. So you and me, right? We could leave. We could leave. You're the smart one here. We could just leave and be safe away from all the monsters and spooky stairs and haunted doll rooms and everything. Ah, isn't that so better than going downstairs to a creepy basement fight monster and probably die? If I get trapped in there, then I get trapped in there. But I am intrigued. Who's going what? after, um, Stefan? I'm very following Stefan. I thought this was your business. I thought you were acquainted with these kind of, um, situations. This is making it even scary, okay? It's very scary! Just please listen to me, no one else will. I'm listening, um, whether or not I subscribe to it, though, is another matter. He's gonna just sit on the floor. <laughs> at, the, at the top of the stairs. I would like to... <laughs> and start can I, can crying. I, I pick Varian up by his, uh... clothes. No! And slap him. No. Yeah, um, you can. Uh, give me... Uh, do non-lethal damage. Roll 1d4. <laughs> oh, boy. Please don't be 4. Yeah, this is... 
You guys are level. <laughs> oh wait. Oh um no, you gotta go slash roll space one d four. You can also just what use the I little do? die thing in the top left. Oh, other roll. I'm gonna get the hang of this. Yeah. Oh, by the <laughs> oh, way, boy. for finding the secret staircase, you all level up to level two. Yay! Ooh. Really? I did that. Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what my new health is because that's very relevant right now because I'm being <laughs> beaten up. <Yeah>. Agreed. <laughs> Um, you guys can either take the median and add your con, oh. or roll, so. I'm gonna take the median and add my con, because that's eight hit points, so, okay. um, would you have that would bring, one? that would bring me to 19, and you just hit me for three, so I have 16. There you go. <laughs> so if everyone wants to just do their, um, health points right now. I would like to point out that, you um. re-roll that stuff on. Yes. If Jeff? you're... If you're not a monk and you attack someone with your hands, it usually just deals, um, like a flat amount of damage. Oh, really? Okay. Not that it matters if that's how you want it. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Holy crap, Dave. It was a sick reroll. Yeah. If you roll a one, I'm gonna let you reroll because you're level. You're level two. You all hurt me. He's crying more. Okay. By the way, since you hit him. Yeah, he is. Okay. If like, we're all gonna die, we're gonna die together, and I start dragging him over towards the stairs. Um, He's completely well, sobbing. Hates. Uncontrollably sobbing. Are you resisting, though? I mean... Yes, but also I'm focused more on crying, but, like, I'm, like, thrashing about, like, angry, like an angry baby, I guess. Oh, okay. No! No! But no. you're going. I okay. mean, if you want me to try and break the grapple, I would try and break the grapple. Yeah, if you, if you want to, what your character would do. <sighs> Just going okay. to make a big stink about it. Tantrum wise. Ghost children. But yeah, he's yeah, just. Yeah, full, yeah, it's just full here you look Plus your at con. At Don't forget to add your con modifiers. At Stefan yeah. and sort of, you know, cocks her head and is is Farian crying? Oh Sounds no, like is he? he? Yes, is I am him? completely sobbing. Why would he be crying? He, I thought he said that this ghost house thing was his expertise. <laughs> Yeah, Wolverine says a lot of things. Let's go. I'm still dragging. Listen to me, you're going to die. All right. Well, then you can deal with more ghosts. I don't want to. They're really scary. I flash him a big smile and say, "Oh, don't worry about it. We'll all be together, sure." You have big scary teeth too. You're going to pierce my neck. <laughs> don't don't worry. I I I, I wouldn't eat dwarfs. A minute on the hips. A minute on the lips. A lifetime on the hips. Can anyone see more? anything? Nope. Oh, yeah, just, no, this is all, I'm just crying in the background. Don't mind me. But mind me. I'm very <laughs> sad. Level <laughs> 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 two. What about now? I got nothing. Okay. Well, you nothing. are a human. You can't see any anything. It is so I still dark. Have my life staff, if that helps. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Nothing. Oh, it's one plus strength. Victoria Brown told me right. It's one plus your strength modifier, not a one D. Oh, actually, yeah. If it's for a strength modifier, I would have actually dealt like one more damage. Okay. There you go. Take one more so damage. I'm... Thank you for clearing that up. So that I can take more damage. <laughs> Thanks, Victoria. <laughs> You're a real pal. I didn't say I was attacking you. I just said I slapped you. Yeah, but you did four damage with that now? slap. Can you see everything? I don't know my own strength, apparently. Can anyone see anything? That's the no. only damage I've taken this entire thing so far. Um, is Fog of War still on? Advanced Fog of War. Um, but is just plain Fog of War on? No. It's, it might be covering everything. 
Um, it is almost break time, I believe, in case you need a few minutes to figure yes, this out. Yes, let's do that. Let's take well, yeah, because I want to finish. I wa yeah, because I have to. We have okay, to, you guys I have, can I get up. stuff. Yeah. So we're going to yeah. take a short break crying. right now. Thank you guys for bearing with me and my problems. So um, we will be right back <laughs> in uh, five to seven minutes. And thank you very much for staying with us, guys. So give I us need... a second. I get a new spell. What?
And we're back with everyone. And we still can't move Winston, but that's okay. We're gonna make him a part of the team anyway. So, you're all down here now from where the spiral staircase left you from here. Right beyond Varial is the staircase which you came down. Who is still sobbing. He's st still sobbing hysterically. We. Oui. We. Oui. Maybe something more difficult. I thought he was in front of me. Move I yourself. have a friend here! <laughs> Move yourself wherever you think you should be on this page, then. Alright. So. I would like to explore a little bit. Yes. Stefan is immediately checking out this small table area. Okay, give me one second. Oh, there he is! <laughs> Am I still being carried by rail? Do you want to still be carried by rail? Well, I'm asking if he put me down, because otherwise I want to... <laughs> I want down. <laughs> okay. Real? Or Golly John was carrying you. Golly John. Or Golly John was carrying me? Okay, sorry. Golly John, are you still yeah, carrying I, I, I put him down. In front of me. Oh. Blocking the exit. <laughs> Just let it be known. I'm like wiping my ass. That... If we all die, and we become ghosts, and we haunt this place, I am going to torment you for ever. Ever? So, yeah. It will be a beautiful friendship. I hate you so much. What is this music? I know, it's really <laughs> freaking me out. Okay, so you are in... We're gonna go with... Stefan and Larry first, you're in the cult initiates quarters. A wooden table and four chairs stand at the east end of this room. To the west are four alcoves containing moldy straw pallets. Yum. I don't know if you're supposed to read that it's the cult initiates quarter. It says cult initiates quarter, yeah. I know, but... No, I knows. probably shouldn't have read that out loud, I know. <laughs> um... So I'm going to go rustle around, see if there's anything interesting in these straw beds, or, you know. So where are you at? And, um, Amara, you're on the other side? Yes. Okay, Amara. Crips. Um, they are closed, but there are stone slabs in front of them. All right. Um, can I kind of? I want to try and push on it and see if they move easily. If is like as if they're on a hinge or something. Give me a athletics check. Do you have a crowbar? No. Okay. So I, just give me a straight up. I do. Oh. You're crying. I'm. The tears are coming, but I'm being forced <laughs> to be here. And I look at Golly John. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, which one are you in? I, or, I mean, the top one or the bottom one? There we go. That one is empty. Damn it. Okay. I'm well, gonna... I'm gonna check make, the other one, I'm, then. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my way... I'm, like, always, I'm, like, looking over my shoulder to see if Golly John is still there, like, every couple <gasps> seconds. Yep. Before before he comes around the corner, right can I it. like can I take the doll out of my pack and just kind of like hold it right by the corner? Yeah. <laughs> Give me a, a sleight of hand. A spooky check. A spooky check. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Y you kind of hear. Give me a perception Sorry. check. The mega ball. Yeah. Uh. You don't <laughs> oh, we man. don't know! It's still scary! <laughs> you hear a rustling, but you don't know what it is very long. And Amara sticks her hand out, and you see the doll in front of you. I'm going to scream and hold out the 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 hand of, of my golden arm, and I'm going to Eldritch Blast it. The doll. <laughs> yeah! Okay! It's scary! So we're just going to- Ah! <laughs> 
Testing. Okay, um, roll. For Do uh, blast. Uh, oh, that's tagging it. Okay. Sorry. That's it's fine. um, it's a it's a d20 plus six. Okay. Oh, that's I didn't add the six, so that the, the doll Sorry. is incinerated. It's twelve. That it is, is fine. It is burst into oh! pieces, and it's everywhere. It's like a poop. Oh. And, if um, you, if I was carrying a croissant, I would have dropped it. Amara, your hand and is slightly singed. There, doll. But you're okay. Can we in the uh, quarters here? Um, give me a perception. Are you guys trying to be quiet about this? No! Okay, then I'm not just, sure. I'm just, yeah. I'm Stephen, just you can't I'm... hear anything, but <laughs> the sound of your own breathing, but everyone else can hear. I'm taking... Okay. Now... I'm taking very detailed notes on these bits. I was... I was scared and blasted it and then kind of looked at my hand because I've never done that before. Okay. And I'm still really creeped out. Okay. Now, totally I'm, now, I, now I shoot things out of my hand. Wonderful. Okay. <sighs> so, Thank you. Amara. Yes? I was just coming to help you. That could have been your face. It wasn't, though. I'd rather um, grown attached to that, though. It would not be attached for much longer. I reach in my bag and I'll just hold out my crowbar. Because I heard you trying to get into things. Use the proper tool. Fine. Don't hit me with it! <clears throat> I'm going to take the crowbar and try and open it then. Okay. You Give me another um, athletics check. Uh, ba ba da ba ba. Crowbar helps. Um, it is empty, but the name etched in the um the door says Walter Durst. Ah. <sighs> so, Rail, Stefan, and Larry, as you check these pallets, they are empty. They are nothing but rotted straw. Well, nothing to see here. Uh, Stefan has walked over to rail. Is there, is there anything down there? It looks like a staircase. Okay, let's go. Wait, wait. What are you guys doing over there? <laughs> Come on, there's more stairs! Oh. Finally, someone more curious than me. Guys, wait up. You've got a weird thing for stairs. Up. Baron, yeah. come on. You f What? Huh? I said you I, first. My, I hold my... <sighs> <sighs> I would like to send a message to the other half of the group. Um, I will one? send it to Amara. Okay. She seems most sensible. <laughs> and say, Stefan and Rael have found another staircase. They are going down. I am following them. Please come quick. Oh, there's gone. Uh, okay. Alright. I'm going to kind of give the crowbar back to Varian ah. and kind of hustle by uh, him. You need to all, like, announce when you are going to move. You are moving too suddenly. I'm going to accidentally, apparently, blast your face off now. Did she say where it was? Aaron, if you don't get moved, I'm gonna leave no, you down here by yourself. Hmm? I'm going! Do you just- Good! I'm just being careful! Where was it? Over here? Um, I assume- I assumed you knew that we had gone the opposite direction in the hallway. I oh, should have pinged it for you, I did not uh, say where they're gonna be around. Still waiting! Okay. Okay, I am going now. Watch as I walk with my feet. <laughs> Don't go step. And I'm very carefully checking all the corners. I'm actually going to draw my crossbow and load it, and I'm going to point it at various things as I walk around. 
so how about can I trigger? investigate this well? Yes, you can. Um, it is a four foot diameter well shaft with a three foot high stone lip, and it descends 30 feet to a water filled cistern. Okay, well, Stefan leans his whole half of his front of the body over the- that was a great sentence- over the edge of it to really get a good look deep inside that well. Okay, uh, give me Rail a- comes next to him so that he can grab his feet if necessary. Okay, give me a perception check. Oh, good, you're here. Did, are the rest of the guys coming, Amon? <clears throat> I believe so. I just- is no is no one else feeling just kind of maybe just a little bit uncomfortable? There's water and a bucket. I mean, my hand sort of hurts. It's a regular well. What's it very? Let's keep going. Well, I'm assuming it's very. And what did he do? It looks a little red. Listen. Uh. Dolly John, look, we are good friends now. Don't you think that this is just kind of just a little bit too scary? We could perhaps just get everyone and go back the other way. Are you scared, Varian? Do you need if someone to hold in... you? If I am being entirely honest. Okay. No! <coughs> Golly John, you are not listening. Golly John, you are not listening to me. If the and I start singing the sheet candy to myself on my way. Golly John, please listen to me. <laughs> are you gonna struggle with Varian? I'm struggling! Okay, um, Golly John, give me an athletic check. And I okay. can do athletics or acrobatics? Yeah. Which I think the wiggling out of this thing. This, this I hole. think it's still uh, it's athletics. Ooh, very Ooh on. that's you a escape. net went. Yeah, you are. Uh, you wiggle out of the grasp of Golly John, and you're like, you walk. And I got. Like, I'm going. I'm gonna. I'm yeah. I'm going to. Well, well. I'm going to back up. I have the crossbow pointed at. The oh, Golly John, just, just because. Just ever since we opened up that room ever since we got those bones i just feel very uncomfortable if you want me to be honest that is fine i just feel very 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 uncomfortable okay so no more picking me up no more see if you stop being a baby and i wouldn't have to pick you up i am not being a baby i'm being kind of a baby but it just you're being a big bearded baby i just Something does not feel right. We're in a house full of dead skeletons. Nothing in this place is right. Stop worrying about it and go. I found more stairs. And seriously, <laughs> I'm going to count to ten. If you're not gone, I'm slapping you a second time. Maybe there's a, a tear third, rolling down my ch- There's a tear rolling down my cheek. Why? I'm going to go. I'm going. Two, I'm going to go. I'm going. Three, I'm going. I'm not, I'm trying to move. I'm five. I'm moving. Six. I moved. That's better. If I have to count again, I'm starting at six. Okay, as they make their way down the hall. I'm crying. You guys see on these quarters, and there is. Each has a um, wood frame bed with a moldy straw mattress and a wooden chest to hold personal belongings. Each chest is secured with a rusty iron padlock. Alright, Rayo goes into one of the, the, the bedrooms and, and uh, checks out this uh, this this padlock. Okay, it looks like you need just, um, can I, can to I be I able break to open it, it somehow. Alright, I do so. No, you don't. You don't have deep tools. Do you? Oh, no, I don't. It's. I mean, it's. I mean, Var- Varian has the thieves' tools. But I figure it's a rusty old lock. Maybe I can just snap it to break it. Okay, give me a break an athletics check somehow. Athletics, okay. <laughs> it is it is old and rusted, but it still holds true. Can I give it a shot on this one? I think I got tetanus. Yeah, she can. I also have tetanus. 
You both have to head to. No. Um, Let's you, go to you the cannot open that one either. It looks like, oh. um. It looks like you'll need some deed tools. Oh, Stefan, uh, I think you uh, left this with your note on the tree, and uh, Illyria's gonna hand you back a dagger. Oh, sick! Thank you! Uh, can I use that instead of a thief's tool? Sure! These are really rusty old rocks, why not? Gonna go for that one again? Give me a dexterity check. Not a save, save, a check. <laughs> oh my- I have my back is just pressed up against sure. this wall. Okay. With um, my crossbow just kinda like... Okay, <laughs> totally noted. Um, this room's chest contains a silver, silver short sword worth 110 gold pieces. I'm gonna turn back to Leary like, it, it worked! It worked! Yes! Okay, wow, um... that's nice. Okay. Varian comes Shit. back out and says, or Rail comes back out and says, Hey Varian, do you think you can crack open a lock for me? Is, Go is for it, it, I'll be with you the whole time, sure. Is, is there a trap on it? No, not, 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 not a thing, no. Did you check? Oh, of, of, of course I did not, but I, I can check again if you like. Can I go back inside and check for a trap? Okay, um, give me an investigation. While he's doing that, can I? This is a weird question. Okay. Can oh, I God. insight check <laughs> myself? No, I don't think so. Okay. I don't, because I know I feel weird. Do you? I, th I think I feel weird. Do you? No. Okay. I don't feel weird. Good. That's the right answer. That's really scary. <laughs> Investigation. Rail, Rail comes back out and says, "I don't think there's a trap, but yep. I can't be sure." Not, not trapped as far as you can tell. You're not sure. As far as he can tell, it's not trapped. Yeah, maybe you can take a look. Can I do the oh, same thing? On. Can I check the chest? No, okay. Well, I will check it. Uh, which chest? Where? It's uh, it's in this room over here. Ah, okay. Let's. T the chanting is really getting to me. Um, I'll do. I'll try and thieves tools this chanting? open. Okay, go for it. Is there any chanting? Sure. Um, this chest. Well, do that. <laughs> this chest contains three moss agates, worth ten gold pieces each, and a folded mm -hmm. piece of black cloth. Can you say okay. that one more time? Three moss agates worth ten gold each. So three gems. Ten gold each. And a black cloth. Yep. Um... Can I, what do you can I unfold the black cloth? <laughs> no, they were I'm in the black cloth. Oh, they were in the black cloth. Yeah. They oh. were in the black cloth. So, um, what are you investigating, Mara? I'm investigating the chest to see if it's, like, trapped or if it's, like, is it locked or... It's locked. But it's not trapped. It's locked. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go out. <laughs> um <clears throat> Varian. Stefan, you uh -huh. wanna try breaking open the other one? In front of you? You moved. What do you, what do you want? I need your assistance. There's another chest over here and I'd rather not um Fuss that, around with it. Is that one that? I don't believe so, no. Okay. You just watch the door. Watch my back. Of course. I don't, want to, don't want to get a dart in it. All sure, right, one, got your back. one more. Uh, actually, watch my back from further away. Thank you. I will do the thieves tools on this chest. Okay. I don't have the doll anymore. That is a 12. Okay. Uh, this is... A, um, this room's chest contains 11 gold pieces and 60 silver pieces and a pouch. Can you make an investigation check? Another 12. The, the pouch is made of human skin. Nope. Bye-bye. 
There you go. What? What Open was it? Ah, uh, it looks to be a pouch made of human skin. What's wrong with that? Can I see? Can I see? That's interesting. Be my guest. I do not think that we should be touching things inside all of these chests, but if someone wants me to open another, I suppose I can. Well, in the meantime, go can I try and jerry this one open? Sure, give me a, um, what did I say? Dexterity. You were doing Dexterity. Ooh, yeah. You open it right up. Pop. It contains an ivory hairbrush with silver bristles worth 25 gold pieces. I found a hairbrush! Ooh, it's also good, for, good for you. Rail is very interested in this hairbrush. Oh. Okay. I already got one thing. Do you want this? What What did you get? Uh, there, it was a it was a sword. Ooh, swords are Silver nice. Silver sword. What kind of a sword? A uh, I well, okay, and he'll pull it out and be like, "It's this one." Hey, it's hey, hey! Silver, hey, hey. I think. Do not just pull weapons out though, willy nilly. Don't do it too fast. You could cut some. Do do anything. You don't okay. know. What if, it was a mad... what if it was a cursed sword and then it made you swing at all of us? You don't know. Can I take a look at the sword? Yeah, okay, I can give you the sword. I'll take the hairbrush. Yeah, sure. Brush away. Uh, seems fair. How much was that hairbrush worth? 25 gold pieces. Nice. Yours is worth 110. I believe yes. Rail was looking at that hairbrush, yeah. but okay. Rail, Rail offers his uh, his three gems for the hairbrush. Okay. Can I do? We trade. Can I do a perception check to see if we're being followed? Sure. Cause I'm cagey. Yes, hmm? you are. <laughs> you think? No one's following I'm speaking you. Speaking of. <laughs> I will probably check again okay. <laughs> later, <laughs> but for now I'm fine. Okay. Rail immediately starts grooming himself. He, he brushes out his whiskers into <laughs> uh, a very elegant kind of a mustache. Nice. He says, "What do you think?" I think this is not the time. Oh, oh guys, right. come on, can we get going? I'm gonna get a Molly here. If we're gonna do this, we need to just, you know. Over oh, the stairs are over here! Stairs, okay. You're, um, oh, moving boy. forward? <sighs> yeah. It's, Amara, you were in yes. that other end of the hallway. Did you find anything interesting over there? Aside from that, um, lovely pouch of what seems to be human skin, um, not too much. No, I mean, in, before you came down here, uh, I heard some noise. Maybe that's where you got your hand burnt? Oh, <laughs> yes. Um, I tried scaring Varian, and I think that was a bit of a silly move on my part, perhaps. He didn't enjoy it. Mm. There wasn't you must not have had to work hard. Real? No. No. Yes. <laughs> Give me no. a perception check. Who? Rail needs to make a perception. Only rail. Only rail, of course. You fall into a pit of spikes. Ah! He's dead. No. Whoa. Maybe. Can I make like a dexterity save to see if I can like land round the spikes instead of on top of? Um, cat like, like reflexes cat -like and all that. Yay! Yeah. Hey. I'm gonna let you do that because that sounds right. pretty cool. Cool. Yeah. So that's be a dex, a dex save. Yeah, make a dex save. All right. Ah, uh, not bad, but you're still gonna take a little fall damage. You managed to avoid the spikes. Ooh. How much damage we're going to take? Oops. How, how deep spikes. is this pit? Rolled correctly. 
You take nine damage of bludgeoning oh. damage, and you are now down in a pit. Shit. Stefan, you're gonna have to back up because there's a pit in front of you. Oh, hey, hey, watch out! There's a pit. It's no, the back, pits. back up from whence you came, because it rails in a pit. Watch out! There's a pit. I'm gonna take out a rope and see if I can help get him back up. Okay. Um, give me an athletic check. Both of us or just him? Uh, just I'll him. help. Okay. Uh, yeah, between his cat like ability to climb and your strength, you're able to uh, get him back up. But now Ooh. there is a five foot or a ten foot leap there. Let's go a different way. Well, well, I I can jump that easy. <laughs> He okay. falls down a pit of spikes, and you just decide, let's go another way golly, instead of go. Oh, golly, John, I thought you moved. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you what? move? I did, yeah. Okay, golly, sorry. John. I gotta stop playing willy-nilly with my token, I know. It's okay. Just, um, move back. I'm with Winston. Okay. Um, so, you are in a... Dining hall with moldy, uh... Wood, plain wooden table flanked by moldy humanoid bones strewn on the dirt floor. In the middle of the south wall. Let's see, where's the south wall? This place is absolutely horrible. Okay, I guess I leave the pit and go. Ah, into the, so where you they approach are. the larder, Golly John. Is the larder full of lard? Uh, Lard, let's uh, see. Larder, let's see. What? Ah! God, I hate this roll 20 acting like this tonight. Sorry. It is filled with a Grick that you have to fight. <laughs> so please roll. Yay! So please roll initiative. It's hey, the monster! Are you moving forward or what's going on? Sorry, sorry. Uh, hey, hey, pardon, are you asking me? Very quicky. No, you're standing in the middle of the hallway. Keep moving. I, 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 I do not want to. Great big Does tip. anyone know how Roll20 handles jack of all trades or expertise? Um, there should be like in the cog part of your yeah, character yeah, sheet. Yeah. You, can, you can click a box that tells you jack of all trades. Illyria, I... This is just giving me a lot of bad vibes, okay? So maybe not move forward, fall down pit, yes? No? You all there seem very, you know, room. like... What? There's an unclipped skin bag from her belt and wave it at you. <laughs> no! <laughs> to get not, you to okay, forward. okay, out fine, of fine. The out of the larder oh, cool. and attacks Golly John. Ooh. Yay! Ah! Yeah, pretty much. I just, I just back no! up away from the skin bag and oh, there's another thing. I am sandwiched between two things. I hate this. Rail is fascinated by this big. That's an initiative tracker. Oops, sorry. There we go. Did you all oh, roll? That's really cool. I have not rolled yet. I think we're for dinner. Yes, yeah, so that is about how I feel right now. Yeah, about a four. How are you today? Oh, about a four. I'm very spooked. Okay. No, that's not right. There we go. It's like my initiative's back to normal. Yep, golly, John, you're the first to react, fittingly. Um, I'm gonna draw my weapon and swing at the thing. Okay. Um, sorry, what kind of sword was the one that he gave me? A Is silver that just, short does it sword. look purely decorative? I'm sorry? Silver short sword? It's a short silver sword. Silver short sword. Does it look like it's purely decorative? Um, no. It looks functional. Okay. Um, uh, but I'm gonna draw my long sword, because I think okay. that's what I do. So. That will not hit. 
So the grick is slithery and it just smoothly goes to one side and um, it kind of hisses at you with speaking the lies. And that'll bring us to Stefan. So, how's this gonna work with me attacking around a corner? Is that chill? Yeah, that's fine. You got line of sight on him. Does it get cool. cover? Um, it's hard because it's got a half cover, but uh, you'll, you're fine. You can poke at it. Well, um, heeding the words of Varian, I will slowly draw my short sword. Okay. And then hit it. Which you do not. Darn! It is very slippery <laughs> looking, Miss Greg. So, not gonna happen, sorry. But it is Rail's turn. Right. Um. Rail is going to try to come across here, and since um, they're in my party, I can move within their space as well. Yeah, but you can't you end up in us. their space. I can't be up in their space. Alright. Yeah. Uh, so I can move up to here on top of this table, and I'm going to throw uh, one of my darts. At okay, it. go for it. Ooh, yeah, that'll definitely hit. Good job. Okay, 13 points of damage. This Grick, like, recoils from you and just, like, is not happy by that damage at all. Now, can you guys see the damage tracker at all? Or is no. that hidden from you? Not, okay, good. I can only see mine. Okay, good. Yeah, we're we're, we're yeah, we're not yeah. Okay, I'm Marriage turn. Rail, is that all? I should have asked. Uh, that's all. Okay, Amara, your turn. Oh boy. Um, let's see. I'm going to try oh, actually, before, something. Sorry, Amir. Um, I, I just noticed that mine is critical. Yeah, it rolled for you. Nine oh, plus okay. four. It, it adds the damage, Jim. Yeah. Right. Never mind. Sorry, Amir. No, it's fine. Um, am I able to kind of hop over towards it and try attacking with my um, the sickle, the melee weapon? Sure. I okay. would say if you move to the square right there, above yes. Golly John. Okay, let's see. That will not hit. I just Crap. misses. Okay. He slides out of the way again. And He's super backwards. slippery. He is Never mind slippery. then. Alright, Alaric, your turn. Alright, Larry can not currently see what is going on. Um, so she's going to slip past Varian and. Who's back is against the wall? Yeah, so no. just. Yeah, no, go for it. <laughs> it's okay, Winston's back with you. It's fine. And He's one. He another. Oh my! And, um. Aww. We'll fire off a, a magic missile. Okay! Roll damage. I, I like to imagine I'm actually hearing this chanting. <laughs> just cheap. Just, just, just cheap here. Too. Oh, it looks... It takes this damage and it looks really rough. It is pretty singed. And um, it's on its pretty much its last tentacles as it makes its attack. And it's gonna go after Golly John with its tentacles. I have protection, and I'd like to impose disadvantage with my shield. And it's gonna, um... Wow, it six. still did really good, though. Golly, John, six. <laughs> Stefan, you have a shield? Yeah. Would have given it disadvantage. Oh. Using, uh, his reaction. Oh, okay. I think. It has a beak attack. Which is going to go after, um, Stefan with. Oh, jeez. Does 12 hit? No, no, okay, no. Okay, so, so it just snaps at you, but it misses your face. 
but it's right near there. <laughs> All right, Marion, you are back against the wall. Crying. Yeah, uh... I rolled a cry. I'm yeah. going to- so I'm going to quickly just make sure that the dog is not going to eat my face off. Okay, good puppy. And I'm kind of just gonna, like, hold my hand out and just go for uh, an Eldritch. Just gonna try and do what I did to the doll. I'm okay. just gonna go, eh! We're gonna Eldritch Blast it. The dog is very friendly looking toward you and just looks Okay, so that out. makes- that makes me feel better. Good doggy. Okay, okay so Whoa. that's a d20 plus 6 to hit because I really need to put Eldritch Blast in here. Okay, yeah, Ooh. that hits. That definitely hits. And then I just hit it with a d10. Right, that is <laughs> enough damage. to kill it, though. That's just yes! enough to kill it. So it's <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> Everyone get out of the way! And I just and I blow its head off. <laughs> Did I get it? Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like not, I'm like, did I get it? <laughs> you um, got it! We killed the monster! Woo! You're like, you're like the most powerful scaredy dog I know. Oh! Scaredy dog, I like that. I like that too. That's funny. But you're oh, I'm going to just be, I'm just like really, I'm just, I'm just petting. Oh, I'm just like, I need, oh. Just petting this dog so hard. Yep. Winston He's is so Varian's so emotional support animal. Pretty much. It was following Golly John around, but it really likes the attention from <laughs> Varian right now, too. So. Um, uh, I'm sitting on the floor again. I'm just petting the dog. Sorry, okay. uh, clarification um, from the DM. The two tentacle attacks, those were both on the Golly John, right? Just one tentacle attack, and it was a six. Which six. one? It okay. rolled um t for the twenty four, so that'd be so if it hit with the twenty four, if it had advantage, it'd be both numbers. But it just hit with the six. I don't, I don't want it. So it I'm hit just, with I'm the just twenty talk to for six damage. Winston, I don't want to do this anymore. There's what? really creepy monsters here, and I just Aww. really hate it. Aww. I know that is exactly how I feel. You find that someone actually understands. He rubs up against you with his head. Oh, you are so good. Alright, what are the rest of you doing while Varian comes down from his panic attack? Um, uh, is going Rayla to wander to down go. this hallway. Okay. Rayla wants to walk with Illyri and see what's happening over here. Okay, you see, uh, um... Definitely with that one. You see, uh, doors. Well, you see... Dirt... Walls. Can you see up here? Okay, yeah, Golly John see... can. Okay, so these are yeah, she would be much as the same as were uh, Amara had seen. These are slabs, stone slabs that are covering um something a door. Um, how high in the wall are they? They're wall, uh, floor to ceiling. Mm. Could these be the tombs? Do they have anything written on them? Let's see. Much D, like where are you at? Sorry, C and D. Oh, this one is etched with the name Gustav Durst. This one that Golly John's in front of. And then the one that <laughs> Rail's in front of is etched with Elizabeth Durst. Are those the names on the D? Or in the wheel? I don't remember. I think it said Fred. Fred Durst, did it? Let me check. <laughs> oh, boy. Breeze in for ten, breeze out for five. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> I know, no, but I'm Dur really panicked. I don't know how to do it correctly. Durst is this family's name, Ooh. so if we can find the, the crypt yeah, the children. For, for the children, we can put Where's the, the children's bones? bones to rest. Very, are you going bones. to be all right? There's more over here. And now I'm, and now I'm going to be very honest with you. I've done this countless times. Eh? This feels wrong. The stone slab is etched with the Just name Thornbolt Durst. Which one? The one that rails in front of. Golly, John, you are in front of one that says Roosevelt Durst. I'm going to see where the others have gone. 
Don't leave, please. Well, wow, looks like this is it. Rail, Rail kind of pops his head back into the hallway and says, We found the tomb. And there we go, just on cue. Thank you. So, I is there any way to right open back. this tomb? Um, out of character, wasn't the one that for Walter opened already? Um, yes. Is it in this room, or is it in the other side, or is it It was on the upside upside and up. But you're looking for Rose and Thorn. Right, yeah, I just... Sorry, Tyson. I guess I wasn't paying that much attention earlier. Okay. Uh, We've we've got a Rosa here. This one's for Thorn. Anybody have a... I don't know, strong hands? Jeff, I'm I'm gonna pop you back up, because you're wandering a little too far, okay? For me to keep Uh. up with you. Is that okay? I'm gonna pop you back. Yeah, I took I took time with the dog. I'll go. Okay. They'll just lift. Hold on. They'll Let just me lift just me. I could have just died. Let me finish. Um, Golly John or Rail, who's trying to pry open the door? Um, I'm gonna try. Okay, give me a athletics try. check. Both of you, give me right. athletic checks. Same time. One, two, three. Sorry, I jinxed it. I screwed up. Both of oh, you. See, I told you I jinxed it. Both of you go towards the door and you're like, oh, oh, it's just stuck in place for you. Larry turns. Why don't we both try? Amara. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Maybe everybody should help. All right. Um, whoever's I trying, give that... yourself advantage because it's going to be everyone trying. So. Valerian did have a uh, crowbar, if we want to let him try. What did you want me to do now? Oh, okay. hey! Oh, you get all hello. Those nat ones out early. Wow. Um, they're trying to get something open, another tomb, I believe, and this time they are the correct ones, the ones of the dear children. Well, roll again, because um, you oh. would have advantage, so. We'll play. I, sorry, I forgot. If you would be so kind, oh. perhaps help if they need it. If they ask for it. Golly John, yours op- opens pretty easily. Uh, Real Assurance is still stuck. No, hey. aren't we doing the same one? Oh, you're doing the same one? Okay, Real. Yeah. Um, Golly John, you, yours, both of yours opens easily. And that's the one for Thornbolt. It, they're changing uh... beyond, contains an empty coffin. It contains an empty what? Coffin. Coffin. Alright, um, I want to inspect so this do- coffin before I open it. Okay. Um, give me an investigation check. It's a coffin. It is a coffin. <laughs> so, are you going. What are you guys gonna do now? Well, we need Let's- to open the other one, too. Okay. Put put that one in and uh, I. Who has the bones? Uh, uh, Rail's got them. Okay, uh, so you the, place the bones. I set the of... bundle of bed sheets down, open it, and uh, find Thornbolt's uh, uh, remains and, and and place them inside the coffin. Close it again. All right, I do that. So you need help with the other one? Yeah, use your crowbar. Yeah, somebody give me a hand. Uh, hold on one second. Alright. I am going to hold on one second, I just have a feeling. That I can totally do that. But get out of the way, I can do it myself. Be my guest. Alright. I believe Crowbar. You. Crowbar on on this stupid tomb. Okay, give me athletics check with advantage. You you got it, DM. Uh, You said athletics. Yes, please. So So it would be Oh, well, you got a crowbar, so yes. So you open it pretty easily, pretty hardly, but it, it swings open for you at the end. There we go. Put the other right. one in, and we can be good with this place, no? Yeah, so Rail, all the papers, Rose's, 
remains in, in her coffin. Okay. Oops. And I will close it. When and he, bows his head, he bows his head for a second and say, saying a quick prayer for the, for the departed. Very nice. I'm going to be honest. I feel actually a little bit good about that. See? It always does you good to do good to others. Yeah, right. You may be right about that. I suppose so. Thank you for helping me open it. Justin. Going too far. Sorry if I got a little rough you, Varian. This whole situation, I guess, had me kind of upset. Yes. It, it is fine. If you slap me again, I will punch you where the sun don't shine. Fair? Like underneath Only if you do it again. Fair enough. Okay. I feel better. So, water on the bridge. All right. All right, Stefan. You are currently there. Yeah. Meaning that two ghouls come after you. Cool. What? Cool, ghoul. Cool. Where's Stefan at? I am. I went south instead of north. So, um, at this point, uh, Elyria would probably notice that Stefan is not with the party. Okay. Yes. Winston um, whines and kind of points the direction to where. Is Stefan in 120 feet of where I am? Yes. Because I don't know where he is. All right. I would. I would like to send him a message and say, "Dude, where are you at?" <laughs> Rail kind of leans down. Whoa. The dog's like, "Where did he go, boy?" And wait for a reply. Okay, message. down the well. There's a bunch of dead people chained to the wall. Two tables, Dragon Balls. How would I describe those things? Give me one second. And then the message you ends. Ways. You <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Um. Like a phone message. Give me one second. How am I gonna deal with this? Elia, what are you? Who are you talking to? It's Stefan. He's not here. I, I messaged him, and he just decided to describe the room he was in, but not, <sighs> not where he was. This is. This is. This is. Okay. There was something about people chained to the walls. Rail Winston kind of calls back. To, hey. Rail kind of calls back to everyone. Winston's pointing the way. Come, we should probably not. Stephen, boy. Okay. We already saved him once, so I suppose we should try and do it again now. Huzzah! All right. Like the room too, that you are in, Stefan, is festooned ah. with moldy skeletons that hang from rusty shackles against the walls. A wide alcove in the south wall. They mean this wall. The wall with the stars. Um, contains a painted wooden statue carved in the likeness of a gaunt, pale-faced square man wearing a voluminous, voluminous black coat. His pale left hand resting on the head of a wolf that stands next to him. In his right hand, he holds a smoky gray crystal orb. The room has exits in the west to north walls. Chanting can be heard, heard coming from the west. Okay. Um, instead of noticing the approaching ghouls, I think Stefan is just writing and sketching in one of his little notebooks about what all is in this room right now, because that's crazy. Um, am I rail, like, grill to grill with this ghoul here? Yes. Give me one second, though. I shouldn't have revealed their shadows, because I'm a bad DM. Give me one second. Hey, no one says that about my DM. I'm gonna like kind of sneak past Winston. Okay, you can't sneak past Rail right now, but you can sneak past Winston. Winston. Yeah. Is yeah. what Paris said. Yeah. Let me put them back on the gym later, cause I am. Golly, John, do you know what's going on, on up there? I can hear some things. Then I. Nothing good. So the sooner we can go deal with it, the better, now. I think it's a party. <laughs> I, can I figure this out? Okay, Jim and Poe. And you did not invite me. How shameful. You didn't seem to it's be too interested, mail? to be fair. 
<sighs> Your invitation that... got lost in the mail. Oh. Why are you moving, map? Stop moving. <laughs> the map is possessed. I was acting a little bit strange. Yes, I'm glad yes, to do that. I'm glad that. All right. You're better? So, Rail, is there a ghoul in front of you on both sides? There is a ghoul right in front of me. On both sides, though? Two sides? Uh, yes. One in, one to my right and one right beneath me. That, that would be correct. Okay. And this ghoul Order. would have gone after Stefan. I don't know how Stefan made it past the ghouls, because you're sneaky. Okay, so, um, so Stefan, uh, everyone roll in, click on your token, roll initiative, please. Thank that you, is much you. better. It's almost as if my initiative knows when I'm scared or not. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Do any of you know how many must die by any chance? <laughs> I think it's one. Are you sure? I mean, it, preferably ooh. none. Is it repeating or adding? Because at this point, it could be a lot. Oh, oh that is true. Oh, man. I can't man. believe that all of Borovia is dead. I mean, hmm. what's Borovia? <laughs> 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 Alright, all the ghouls are gonna go in the same turn. That's okay. I mean, you could probably you could probably like build like build this into a track. It's like a good like one must die. Uh, one must. Uh. Yeah, there's, 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 there's like one 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 Oh, I wish my character liked your character more. <laughs> Real. That's not. That's not on you. That's Ron on me. Weasley. It's the, uh, Real. You're, undead, um, you're the first The undead react. DJ Skellex. <laughs> Give yourself a point of um, inspiration for that, in my house. What? You already had inspiration. inspiration. I know. Give yourself another point of inspiration. Between that and uh, the turkey thing, the chicken leg thing, that was gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> You have two points of inspiration, bro. Yep. That's so good. I don't know, I'm just gonna like put that somewhere. Alright, Rail, you're the first to react. Alright. Um, Rail is going to draw his short sword and try to take a chunk out of this ghoul here to the side. Okay. Yeah, that'll definitely hit. Ten. Yeah, that'll take a big And sometime. he's going to martial arts unarmed strike after the nice. monk weapon. That'll hit as well, definitely. Ooh. It is looking really rough on its feet. You took a large chunk of health out of that thing. That is... It's like... Was reaching out for you with its clawed hands, and then you just like kind of like you made it not happy. So, Golly John, <laughs> Golly John, you see this around the corner, and you see the goal ahead of you. And in fact, let's see, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do this because one must die. There's another one ahead of that one. So, what are you gonna do, Golly John? <laughs> Rail just attacked. Yep. I'm gonna form um, it. <laughs> you can see the one. And I know, I know that, right um. I, I oh, know that, that uh, Dave is behind them, right? Is beyond them. You, Dave, would you have called out for help, Stephanie? I'm writing. I don't know if I've noticed this yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's right behind me. Give you, give me a perception check. A disadvantage. 
you know this. <laughs> 16, you know this. That something's going on. Dave! Pay attention! I did um, it! <laughs> I'm actually oh, going to... Noted Victoria. I'm going to uh, grab the silver, silver short sword this time. Okay. And try and get around the corner and take a swipe at that okay. heavily hurt ghoul. ghoul. I'm going to duel the ghoul okay. and turn him into ghoul gruel. Cool. I kind of want to give you DM some inspiration for that because you thought that pretty fast too. Um, yeah, take some inspiration for that too. Is it okay if I just swing with the uh, axe for the moment because I have to put the short sword in my sheet? Sure. Whatever, whatever you think would be best. Yeah, that'll hit. It'll be the same roll, so. Okay. Yeah, um, so you definitely uh, hit this guy, and it just. It slithers down to its feet and is dead. Ha! <laughs> I say, I say, I look behind me, so thanks for that. Can I, um, also, um, with my, my quip. Uh, inspire rail and give him one of my inspiration dice. Sure. So you have a d6. You can throw onto a d20 roll. That's all. Nope. All right, Amara, your turn. If you're done, Golly John, sorry. I'm good. Okay. Um. I mean, I'm not. I can't exactly see what's going on. Can I scooch? Like. You can end up either. On either side next to rail, pretty much. Okay. I'll go here. Would I be able to attack the ghoul that's sure. in front? That's still there, or...? Sure. Okay. Well... Hmm. I sort of want to try the sickle again. Okay. Sorry. That's that fine. <laughs> <laughs> you hit, but doesn't matter. Nope, you whiff, and the ghoul just like, right. bends slightly out of the way, and, um, anything else? I'm gonna grimace at the sickle and put it back, like, on the little sash that I have, because it's not working. Okay, fair enough. It's a fickle sickle. Haha! -ha! I want to give everyone, like, puns. young that's for all these puns. You guys are cracking me up tonight. Um, alright, fairy on. <sighs> I have a crossbow! Yes, you do! <laughs> I cannot she see anything! <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anything! No, uh, I'll say I if don't... you can get up to here, right in front of Winston, you can have line of sight on the uh, goal, probably because of the corner. Uh, it, 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 like, like even with my dark vit, like, I, I would have to, like, Okay. If you're, I mean, well, I mean, if you want to give it to me, yeah, I'll can you, shoot can it. Can you see the ghoul at all from there? No. Oh, okay. That's you why are I... allowed to move through ally spaces. You are. Normal. You can't end up well, there. But I... Okay, well, then I guess I'll move... Okay, so hold on. I was here 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Well, that would put me... Can I stand on where it's dead? Yeah, can you I stand, can stand on, on the space where the... I don't care. Okay. Then I'll move there, and I'm gonna... I, I can, can see... see two of them. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I want to shoot my crossbow at the one that's going after uh, Stefan. Okay, go for it. Want to shoot? Want to shoot that hoe? I don't know what these ghouls get up to. You know, they're down here for a long time. That's not gonna hit. Sorry. Um, I will. Uh, burn. I'll. Sure. I'll bonus action uh, put my Hexblade's curse on the one that I shot at. Okay. Should have done I'm that before. Give it a little. A little the bit. the golden arm shoots basically like a little dart into its back, and it kind of gives it a little bit of a shimmery infected golden 
look to where it poked in there, and it is now hexed. Okay, I put a little gold thing above it so we can remember that. Okay, that's a cool. hex boy. Stefan, you're a hex boy. Stephan. Hex so, boy. So, I noticed the thing. Yes, you do. So I need to spend my action putting away my like paper and stuff to get out my sword and shield and things, or am I uh, good we'll to go? We'll say you had it um, next to you and you just grab it. But standing up takes half your movement. Okay, well, I'm gonna stay here. Okay. And you almost hit it. Darn! Um... Okay, uh... Is that main room... You like, guys are doing... Um, <laughs> illuminated? Um, I don't know. Okay. It's not supposed to be. Well, once O'Leary gets down there, she'll have her staff, so... Okay, it's the ghoul's but turn. she's not there yet. The ghoul's gonna go after Stefan. With its claws. Wait, no, uh, hit me instead, you bastard! Heckle! French heckle! Does a 12 hit you, Stefan? 12 ain't gonna do it! Okay, so it swings and misses. This one in front of Rail is gonna go after, um, Rail. I'm gonna try to bite it. Does and not hit you. Oh, no it don't, sorry. That don't hang off, huh? And this ghoul is just gonna march up in front of the other one and go, uh, I'm gonna do ghoul things. Okay, Larry, you're up. Alright, uh, Larry cannot see what's going on. She just hears a lot of hacking and slashing and... Yep. One must die. Oh, thank you for the follow. Someone Standing. that I missed. Um... Easy. Everybody move! I can't see! I can't see! <laughs> um. I can't move, it's not my turn! <laughs> There's some space near me here! Okay, you can hear- I don't know, I don't- You can hear very long, shout that out! Uh, uh, Alright, I'm going to run around the corner and uh, sneak by him. Not sneak, okay. but you slip by him. You hear some gross, like, and, and, uh, noises as you, like, walk over the corpse. Pretty much. It's pretty spooky. Oh, it's corpse. on my shoes! <laughs> yes, it's it's never gonna come out, is it? <laughs> Probably, Probably not. not. Um... And I am going to do a thunder wave on whatever is in front of me there. Okay. Um... So, yeah. Must die. Must die. Must die. Yeah, um, constitution please. Let's see what these guys have. So do do Varian and I also have to make constitution saves? It just does that mean no, it's safe? It is one sided. So it's coming out from me away from you guys. It's not a Yeah, race. so we're behind her, so it's fine. Okay. So it takes five damage? Uh, I think it's rounded up. Six? Okay. Six. Yeah, but it doesn't get pushed back. Okay. Okay. Real, you're up again. Or, Illyria, was that All the right. end of your turn? That is the end of my turn. Okay, Real, you're up again. Right. Um, I want to attack this one in front of me and try to stab it with my short sword. Okay, go for it. Ah, uh, unfortunately that misses. Okay. I guess it's too late to use my inspiration. Ah! <laughs> uh I don't care. It's towards the end of the night. <laughs> Why don't you use it? Otherwise, it'll right. go away. I use I use the inspiration. The bardic well, I inspiration. guess because now I've got two inspiration, right? Well, you got a bardic inspiration from Golly John, 
and you have a inspiration, a DM's inspiration, which means that you are from the last place. Yeah. Okay. All right. I am going to use uh, Golly's D6. Okay. Roll a D6 uh, for my attack here. So, D6. Oh man, my uh, roll twenty crashed. I'm just gonna see if I can man up from here for the next twenty minutes. So I add. I'll, I'll roll my short sword now, and then we'll add that to the short sword. Yep. So it's 17 plus 4. Does that hit? Yes. Wait, my thing completely froze. I'm sorry, guys. Um, viewers, you're going to be black for um, a minute because everything just crashed on me. So give us one second, and I'll be back. Sorry guys, Roll20 has been really bad. And apparently um, Michael's had some issues with it too. So. It's, there's a couple of times for me already tonight. Oh, it's crashed for you tonight? Okay. So what was the, uh, you had a 10, and what did you do? Well, it was the 17, because okay. I used my DM's inspiration. My, my DM's inspiration and the Oh, you didn't have to use both. You can what? use whichever one you want. I would use um, the Bardic Inspiration because it goes away first. All right. Well, I mean, like so the fourteen I that hit. 10. The ten plus the four hit. So the fourteen hit. Oh, okay. Then I will. So you can save the uh, DM's Inspiration. Okay. Great. For the rest of the night. All right. So the fourteen hits. Uh, so let me hit with my short sword. Or seven. Okay. And then I will. Wait, I'm else. sorry, was that I'm the one that's the one south of you? With okay. a, I'm gonna hit him with an unarmed strike okay. after for my martial arts. Okay. Does that hit 12? Yes, the 12 just hit. For nine. Nice. And then I'm going to expend one of my fancy new uh key points or chi points, I prefer saying chi. Okay. Uh to um Oh fancy to do a flurry of blows. Okay, so it's looking pretty flurry good. Flurry of blows is two unarmed hits. Okay. You just get okay. one more. I get one more. Yeah, because you already did, took a one arm stri unarmed strike. Is that it? Yeah. So, no, the, the one arm strike is from my martial the bonus arts action. expertise. Right, okay. So, um, this so, is a so, this is a separate bonus action. Okay. You uh, or you can't it... take more than one bonus action according to the rules. Oh, um, if okay. you're playing that way, totally cool. It's up to the DM. But well, I mean, technically, you're never if, supposed if, to have more than one bonus action. Fine. If he's using flurry of blows, you can just say that that first unarmed strike was the first one of the flurry that's of what blows. I was, that's what I was thinking. Okay, oh, ah, and just yeah. do one. More. That's what I want to do. Thank okay. you. Okay, so just I do appreciate one more. That, yeah, because uh, yeah, you two. Yeah, and do another. No. Uh, that I'll, unfortunately, die. that'll miss. Okay. Die. And and then uh, that's my turn. Okay. Um, I don't have Chris's camera, but it's your turn, Chris. Golly, John. Oh. Uh, it's weird because I have I think everyone's camera but yours. <laughs> oh really? Let me uh, refresh. Yeah, I can see. Okay. I can see. Refresh. Okay, I can no longer reach any of the ghouls. Uh, Oh, I, yeah, I actually can't affect the board right now. Um, okay. So Dr. John's going to... Sorry. Uh, draw his boarding axe in his free hand and uh, throw it. Throw it. At okay. the ghoul that's across from our rail. Okay. Uh, give me a... Uh... Ooh. I don't know how to throw, throw damage. Uh, it's in this case it'd be the same. Okay. It's strength based unless it's a um, finesse weapon, in which case you can use dex. Sure. Um, and it's in its first range, so it's not a disadvantage. Okay. Go for it. Okay, I'm clicking and nothing is happening. Um. Yeah, my roll twenty just completely froze. Okay. Um. um although the cameras are still working. Roll yeah, 20, that's what happened no. to me too. Yeah, it's a bad day for Roll20. Yeah, um... Why would never we play? 
This Victoria one's Brown right. saying that Roll Twenty's been garbage for days and crashed for her on her one shot Wednesday. So. Oh, it did. That's right. Yeah. I'm sorry, Victoria. So, that was um, fun. do you want to refresh, um, Chris, and we'll wait for you. We'll we'll continue we're and we'll um roll your damage when you get back. Sure. Okay. Um, Amara, you're up. Yes. So. That one by rail is still up. For now. Yes. <laughs> okay. So Until we know for sure. So you can, yeah, you can hit it, and then I'll let um, Dolly Jung go again. Okay. Uh, all right. This time, I'm going to be smart and use the uh, scimitar sword. Okay. Short sword. Short sword. Short sword. Uh, oh, that <laughs> unfortunately just, will not oh. hit. And I, I, I'm not gonna DM and pose bad stuff on you. Like, you don't throw your sword across the room, although that's no, happens. okay. <laughs> um, you completely whiff, though. Can I try my other, uh, like, other one, though? The offhand attack? Yeah, sure. Is mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that'll do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll definitely hit. Sorry, it's taking a second to come up still. Okay. Yeah. Roll damage. Now, this one isn't plus the four. Did okay. you, did you take two weapon fighting for your fighting style? I didn't see it on roll 20 so i wasn't sure if i was able to add it because i know it's something two weapon fighting is a thing because if you yeah. take if you took that then you would be able to add your modifier to it okay I thought that was a feat not a fighter is, yeah, i think the feat i think the feat lets you be able to dual wield without two light weapons i think there's a difference the feat yeah lets you use uh normal size weapons and it gives you a plus one to ac if you have two weapons the regular fighting style lets you add your ability modifier to an offhand attack. Mm -hmm. Because if that one... If I can find information on that, that was the one that I initially wanted to... get? It's, av it's available. It's... it's. But, whatever. I think. You want, Sarah. Um... So it you is get, up to you. You get two hits at it, level two. I'm so confused. It would be, it would be the the two weapon fighting style. Okay. So instead of not having the plus four piercing damage on my offhand attack, I would have it. If that, if you would, if that, if Sarah is saying that you can have the two weapon fighting style when you leveled yeah. up to level two, that's yeah. up to Sarah. Um, what do you guys think? Is that fair? Does anyone yeah. else? Yeah. It's what, it's what she would have taken. Okay. Yeah, then that's fine. Okay, well, if that's the case, just go on me. <laughs> adjust my We armor cleaned class, it all up. And I'll I click that. Ooh. Nice. Nice. He, so he nice. goes down. Lovely. Uh, that's a nice. That, that that's that's a nice a pizza pie. Okay, and um <laughs> Golly John, I'm gonna have you throw your hand axe the one behind him. And that hits, okay? Sure. So, um, can you roll damage for that? Ha -ha! Nice. <laughs> so your axe slams into its skull and it stays there as he looks at you with dead eyes. I say, were you were you aiming for that one the whole time? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, of course. I knew the one that was behind it. Alright. Um, very off. Alright, I'm just going to try and shoot this one in the back with uh, my, uh, with my crossbow again. Okay. And it's hex. So what does that mean again? So the hex basically it means it'll take an additional plus two damage if I hit it. Okay. Um, and I crit on 19s and 20s. Nice. Okay, go for it. And if I kill it, I get HP back. Nice. But I gotta yeah. hit it first. You have to hit it first. <laughs> so that just goes past it and clinks off a wall. 
Well, I'm going to yell at it. Fight me instead, you rotting cops! It doesn't seem to understand you. Ah! That's fine, that's my turn. <laughs> Alright, uh, Stefan. Stefan, you're up. I, it, no, it's okay, I think I got it! I think it's okay! Um, Stefan's gonna use that DM's inspiration. Just try and hit something, just one okay. time today. Awesome! Yay! Yeah! So that'll hit it. Yay! For six, yup. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we got it covered! It's all good! Yep, you take a chunk out of its arm, and it's not looking happy, and it still rolls that in. It's not dead yet. It's not dead yet. But I it? got it. <laughs> it's not dead yet. Alright. It's not dead yet. It's the ghoul's turn. That ghoul is going to take a attack, another claw attack at you, Stefan. Let's see if it hits. Ooh, it crits. Level do it! She can Glad you, you make hit level a DC two. 10 constitution saving throw, please. Oh boy. I thought you had it. I yeah. thought you had it! You are now paralyzed for one minute and you take 14 damage. Yeah. Alright, the one here. Oh, oh. Is paralyzed going... isn't good, dude! Is gonna go up to Varion. Around Can the you talk when you're paralyzed? Mm -mm. Does a 13 hit you, Varion? A 13, I believe, is. Uh, yep, yeah, that's gonna. That's gonna. Okay, you take 13 piercing. Ow! I'm gonna use my reaction and use hellish rebuke because I just got that. Okay. Oh, good. 13 damage. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna hellish rebuke him. <coughs> I hate him. Okay. So he takes, I think it's 2d10. Okay. So. Go for that. Oh, he's gonna make a deck save? Okay, let's do that. Oh, yeah, he has to make a deck save. Sorry. I have a DC 14. Yep. Does he take half? Yeah, he takes half, so he has three fire damage. That is one agile ghoul. Yeah, they're it just. It is. I don't. Like roll the con save earlier? I don't know. All yeah, right. when it when it gra when it hit me really really badly, I grabbed it and the with the golden hand and it just kind of like bubbled and seared its flesh a little bit. It reaches back and instinctually goes ah. <laughs> yeah, me too, buddy. God. Right. Um, O'Leary, you're up. Hey, you're so kind of in the middle. But you can see this yeah. uh, ghoul take a chunk out of Stefan. Um, yeah, well, actually, I can't see Stefan <laughs> okay. well, you can from where see I am, school. so I just know that he, the girl's not uh, looking at me at the moment, so I am going to try to pull the dead again on on this uh, ghoul, and hopefully it will work. Okay, hold the dead. If it works, it will do 10 uh, damage. Much better roll. All right, yeah. Yeah. and it takes ten. Yeah, it takes the ten. Yeah. Oh, it falls, just barely, but it falls. I get HP back because my curse was on it. Nice. Good I, job. I get six HP back. Okay. Cool. So now. Thank you. I'm not um, almost dead now. Elyria is also going to move um, forward. Okay. Once roll 20 catches up to me. Yeah, I know, it's really slow still. And she's gonna sort of stand in between where the ghoul was and the skeleton because she doesn't want ghoul on her shoes, but she doesn't okay. want to stand in the skeleton either. You are um, on a skeleton, just so I need know. Yeah, but I, I'm assuming I don't take up five feet, so. Okay, yeah. Um, this is gonna be, you know, in between there, but yeah, okay. in that space. Gotcha. Uh, oh. And just chill. I'm, st I'm stupid. I could have saved myself with shield and not okay. taken that damage. That's uh, fine. I'm stupid. Rail, you're up. Yeah, okay. Mike. You got one yeah, ghoul in front of you. Rail is incensed. He's had it with these ghouls. So Rail is going to try to take his short sword and jump on it and 
try to plunge it deep into this ghoul. Okay. Go for it. It was a 24. 24. <laughs> oh, yeah, that hit. Sorry. For 10. Yeah. It is looking pretty my, rough. And you're on it? Then my martial arts. Oh, your martial arts. Okay. Strike against it. Yeah, that'll definitely hit. For 7. Oh, yeah, it goes down. Wonderful. So and I you just are out of initiative face, with this like, <sighs> Can I repeat my save now? Yep. Sick. Nice. Ooh, good job. Okay, so roll 20 is not working for me at all. It's letting me click things, but things won't go away. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so you are in a room. I'm going to repeat this. Are you, wait, where's everybody going first? I should let you I mean, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to where Stefan was. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think we all entered the room. <sighs> oh, is that one really hot? I'm gonna delete all these ghoul corpses. <sighs> Stefan! Is everybody alright? Uh, I'm a little, I'm, okay. I'm a little hot. I'm not going to lie, that kind of hot. Yeah, I'm not yeah, how about you, Stefan? Well, I can move again, so that feels good. Hey, you did look a little stupid about when I, I walked in here, but you look better now. I, I think I think we have matching bite marks now. So fun! <laughs> yeah, like right on, like they really like to go for like the clavicle. This room has the moldy skeletons hanging from rusty shackles against the walls. Um, there is a wooden painted statue carved into the likeness of someone right here. And um, the room has exits in the west and north walls, which are not what you think they are. And chanting can be heard from the west, so the west must be this way. I know earlier that I was being kind of a little bit of a baby. And I am okay with not leaving now, but perhaps we could just sit for a moment, take like, you know, like a short rest or something along those lines. Just a thought I, for I've Stefan. Been, I've been pretty gung-ho about this whole thing since I got out of the closet and um, I'm actually <laughs> in agreement at this point. <laughs> I Me feel too, about dude. as fourth as good as I could possibly right now, and I'd like to be at least half before continuing. Well, you know what they say, curiosity killed the cleric. But I'm I not a cleric. None of us are cleric. The, says the it's, just, it's just a saying I've heard. Ah, really uh, yes, yes, well. Cool. Yeah. We could sit. I really want to rest in this particular room. Not no. this particular. More so one with perhaps like a uh, less skeleton. Well, and a and a door. This maybe, wooden maybe statue has a, a rooms, and... pale left hand resting on the head of a wolf that stands next to him, and in his right hand he holds a smoky Gary crystal orb. Let's see. Is is the crystal orb real or is it just it's or is it just part of the statue? Uh you'd have to make an investigation check. Okay. Can I, I will invest I will investigate it to see if it's a real crystal or if it's part of the statue. Also, I kind of want to look at some of the skeletons a little bit more closely. Okay. Make the investigation check too. Okay. That is mine. Okay. Um, yeah, it seems to be a real crystal. Okay. The real crystal in this turn. And Amara, that would be, um, the skeletons in the wall are harmless decor. With what? Harmless decor. Okay. <laughs> they are harmless. 
Yeah, decor. Well, maybe, uh, maybe we could go back up and out to where all those uh, straw beds were. Go take a, bit, a, a little rest. Yeah, everybody we, seems a little bit. I, I, I could use a rest myself. If we do that, then before we go, Elio, he used maybe, to um, be pretty good with the magic things. What do you think about, about this crystal? Alright, I'll go over um, and I'll do a, I guess, an arcana check to see if it's magical. What? Okay. If, if possible. Okay. <laughs> you sound so sad. Um, okay. no, I'm just thinking, um... <laughs> Place yourself over there, though, <laughs> and tell uh -oh. me <laughs> and tell me exactly what you are doing for this arcana check. Okay, um, I'm assuming those two stars are the statue. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna go up, and I'm just yeah, going to. I was, I'm, I was... not, I'm not going to touch it, but I'm going to get very close to it and um, inspect it. I guess. Okay. It with that roll does not seem magical. Well, I, I could take some more time and do a thorough, like an identify, but I don't know if we just want to come back later and, and do that. Uh, I do not want to risk it possibly blowing up, I just wanted to get your opinion on it, that's all. I, I would do. much prefer to go sit for a bit, like about an hour. <laughs> I, I don't do more I take think it's approximately. <laughs> Okay. But yeah, I, I think, you know, going back up to where all those uh, straw beds were. The not moldy by the straw chest, beds. They're all moldy. The moldy straw beds, yeah. Moldy straw beds. Oh, lovely. I saw, um, given right. the fact that we were just, you know, kind of jumped on by a lot of walking dead, maybe we should go take a rest back in the house. It was slightly less creepy than the basement. Oh, is the way back up there? Yeah, we mm, very... in the attic and... I think for the straw beds, there is only one in, in entry way to the area, and it'd be easier to keep an eye on. Well, yes, uh, it would and also it be a... easy to trap us there if someone were so inclined. What if... But what, I'll do whatever you guys want. What if we did it near the, uh, the sounds a little bit morbid, but perhaps by the tombs where we just put the corpses back in, it is a little bit more easily defensible, we would be close together. I don't- it's not as far away. It's the closest of these three choices. Well, the not... area is, you know, it's sizable. We don't have to sit all in a line. But... I don't think we need to go all the way back up to the attic. I will vote for moldy beds. If that is moldy the choice beds for me. Okay. Are we not gonna talk about the nicer beds next to the chests and things and the regular well? I thought those were the moldy ones. No, the the other um, Let me make beds. sure. Hold on. They are moldy straw mattresses. Yeah. They're all moldy. They're all moldy. The we're not are... going to we're not going ones, to sleep. The Just... ones not by the chests. It was further up a little. They're so moldy. One's moldy not... straw. One's moldy straw. One's moldy straw beds. We are not going to sleep. Right, we are just going to have a little bit of a sit. Well, whatever we're going, we need to get to this place. Yes, I agree. Fair I enough. Want move, I want Ray to move. At, to, I want to move at I least think, back up here. Rail wants to go down to this other door and make oh. uh, a perception check about where this chanting may come from, and I'm going to use that DM's uh, inspiration before I lose it. Okay. Give me one second. So what? <laughs> the rest yeah. of us left you while you went to check. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Maybe I'm it could have reading. been happening during our conversation. <laughs> Pro yeah. It, we'll go with that. Okay, so okay. you're gonna go um, look at the door? Yeah. Tell me how you're check it out. the door. Like, I, I'm going to use my, you know, my kind of hearing ability and just, you know, like, what... What can I perceive from what I hear? You know, animals are really good at hearing, and so I'm going to just kind of see if I can identify what is happening based on the sounds. Are you pushing your ear up to the door, or are you just listening like like that? 
if I had a glass, I would put the glass on the door and just kind of put my ear up to it and just listen. So yeah, I'm pressed up against this. Okay, um... You are here to the door. Did you say adhered? Yeah. He's stuck to it. I'm stuck. Oh, no. Where are you? Just, just, you gotta move oh, your token no. down there. Can we, say that well. he was doing, can we say that he was doing that before we all left? Yes, please. Yeah, we yeah. probably could have done that during your conversation. Well, uh. actually, um, Rael, move your token down to the door, please. Oh, that's the door. Uh, I thought... I thought that was the door. Okay, yeah, so I'm up here against the door. Okay. <sighs> and everyone, Riel has just stuck himself to a mimic. Ah! <laughs> oh, great! <laughs> Why didn't we just short rest? <laughs> All right. So what's going to happen is that we are going to pick up there with that oh, battle no. <laughs> next week. Because a mimic is now oh. attacking real. Oh you boy, that's gonna be fun. You, you couldn't just go for a little sit, could you, real? You had to oh, go listen to the door. Listen. We're a go-getter group, okay? Yes, we are. Go get stuck to the door group. All right. All right, I've got eight lines left. So, <laughs> so on that note, I almost died. You, you did. I went down to 2 HP for a second. Yeah, that's where, um, Stefan was when you met him. <laughs> so, oh. Everyone? <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Thank you for watching and participating in the second Thanks episode. Thanks, everybody. Of yeah. First of Straw. And, um, now we're gonna, uh, uh, vote for who gets the nat 20 for next week. And Victoria I... had already wrote, voted for Para yes. because of voice, said because of voice acting, quote unquote, yeah, that I great know. voice. Yeah, that's my vote too for the the funny quips. Okay, two for Mara. Anyone else chiming in? Chat. Uh, um, I mean, I say we give it to Rail for getting his ear stuck to a mimic. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's pretty fantastic. But mimic. but that is oh. a but then but hmm. Hmm. I think he might need it more than the rest of us. Yeah, but I don't want to be is... meta game. I don't. I don't want to be yeah, meta game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to meta. Uh -huh. I, I mean, no. I just think he should get it because he stuck his ear to him and like it's. This is true. <laughs> he, it's he just funny. Stick his ear to Chris, was it you who funny. said the fickle sickle, or was that no, Jim? Uh, I said fickle sickle. Okay, I my votes for that because that was great. Okay, for Jim. Um, oh, I, is voting for Mara also? I mean, I thought that no, the- I think Amara gets it. The little well, quips between Amara and Varian today for me <laughs> is just kind of really good. Yeah, that, oh, and, that's um, totally, yeah. Golly job, um, Varian. Good job for role-playing your, your given characters. In case you didn't notice, they were possessed by, uh, the spirits of Rose and um, Thorn. Oh, Rose. wait, you were the other. So that's why you were so aggressive. That's why I was so mean. That's I, why I, was I get angry when people don't do what I want. That's. I <laughs> cry when. I start crying when people won't do what, what I want. <laughs> so funny. I wasn't intentionally trying to single you out either. It was the first I opportunity, and then I just and I wasn't. I wasn't. Were... I wasn't intentionally trying to. I thought I like was making Golly John actually angry. <laughs> oh my gosh! So it's just it's the two siblings like oh fighting. Aww. It was. Fantastic. It was. I was scared of everything, including my own shadow. And if things That's didn't wonderful. go my way, I would start weeping. Mine was a little bit easier. It just said that I, I was bossy and I would get angry if people didn't do what I wanted to do. That made me laugh so hard. <laughs> it was the two, and we were just interacting with each other. Yes. Oh my god. Man, I didn't figure it out until like almost the end of it. Holy. I, I, I didn't laugh. figure it out at all. I thought that, you know, Varian just turned into a scaredy dog. For no! <laughs> Varian, doesn't, <laughs> Varian doesn't get scared about anything. He's been fine this whole time, and then he starts randomly crying and sitting on the floor. <laughs> Coming in today, I just thought that was like the character. No. So I was like, cool. So okay, well, yeah, so, so what you because like the whole first session, Varian is like, 
this is like what he does for his job is he investigates supernatural stuff so he's been like making jokes this whole time and not being scared at all he's just kind of like <laughs> this is totally haunted <laughs> so then he was like and then crying all of a sudden, like and then he was suddenly crying and being like, this is so scary. Well, I thought, I thought it was fantastic. Oh, boy. That was well, great. Amara, you get the nat 20. Hello. Everyone else, Thank give you. yourself Stian's inspiration. Golly John and Varian take an extra point for excellent role playing. So you get two yeah. So, cool. Next week. Cause that was two that made me laugh French. so hard between you two, and you were picking him up, and you didn't even know that he was the other player. So that was really yeah, oh my gosh, that well, that I... gives a lot of context. That's so <laughs> That's so cool. As we wrap up today, the next time you are in a haunted house, surrounded by your friends, but completely hear one must die, one must die over and over again and you need to find out where it is don't stick your head next to a mimic instead it had your proficiency bonus yay, um, yay! thanks everyone yay. And thank you later. everybody oh my thank god thank you so much